Welcome everybody to 3 dhp My name is Jerry. Welcome to my live stream. And today we've got a really awesome printer that we're going to unbox, set up, and do the first test print on. And the last time I, what was it? A Prusa Mini. The last time I done a build on that, I spent like two days for that kit working on it. Well, this one isn't going to take no time at all. It's going to be so awesome. It's a foldable printer. I mean, I haven't seen it yet, but I've seen pictures online. You can pull this thing up with you. You can put it in your suitcase. You can go to Disneyland and you can print. You don't have to leave your hobby at home. You can go to grandma's house. It's very easy to just fold it up, take it on the go, grab some film, throw it on your shoulder, and, you know, your suitcase, whatever you got. will be so awesome. But uh, I have a special guest today. I've got a co-host. I've got Liam in the background, Astro Printer. He's going to pop in now. He's already had this machine. He's reviewed it. Hey, Liam, what's going on? I, I like being in the background. I'm all shy. You know me. <laughs> Thank you very much. We're live on YouTube. We're live on my Facebook group, 3D Printing and Painting, and we're live on my Facebook page. And it's really awesome that we're doing this here today. And uh, Dora is probably in chat from Focus. And I thought it was pronounced different, but no, it's called Focus. And this is a Focus printer. They sent me two rolls of filament. I've got a white and I've got a red. And something really cool about this filament, there's a little plastic window in the end. You can't stick your finger in and touch the filament. There's actually a plastic window. So, you know, with desiccant in here and the lid closed and that's sealed up, it's less air that gets in there, and that's really cool. And during this live stream, we're going to give away five rolls of PLA. It'll either be red or white, but unfortunately, you have to be in the USA. Now, the only way around that is if you're not in the USA and you want to win and the winner in the USA gets it, I would need their name. Their email address, their phone, or their and their phone number, and then I can contact the company and they'll get it sent right out. So the winner has to be in the U.S. or it has to be shipped to the U.S. So uh, who all do we got in chat? I say hi to some people here. Okay, we have a lot of people, but now we'll call out some people who are on Facebook are showing up as Facebook user. Okay, if you're on Facebook, there's a little thing above the video you click to accept it from Streamyard. That way, we'll see your name on screen. So later when we do the giveaway, we'll know who won it. Otherwise, drop over to YouTube and watch it on YouTube. Because when I have you type a keyword in chat and I pull up StreamYard's wheel thingy that shows all the names and it shows the name of the winner, we'll verify that. That person will have to get a hold of me. I'll give you my email. <laughs> it's down below in the chat. I'll show it on the screen a little bit. And then you can email me today or tomorrow. Don't wait a week to call me and say, oh, yeah, I won this a couple weeks ago. Here's my information. No, do it right away. And then we'll get it sent right out to you. Okay. So, so there's some early chat going on. And I'll go down through so we can say hi to everybody. Awesome. So Kieran Clark is saying he's going to watch this um, in spite of me, me being in, in attendance. So thanks, Kieran. Yeah, I share the love. Don't worry. <laughs> um, Sedek, two, two hours ago. Well, time is here now. Yeah, uh, this was in an Amazon box. For some reason, Amazon put it in a much larger box. Yeah, and then it was in this box, and I think there's a third box. It'd be really cool to see. I think I know what I'm going to be seeing here. But we'll find out in a minute. Yeah, there is another box inside it. Yeah. So, Kieran, uh, wakey, wakey. Yeah, it's what four or five a.m. for you. Kieran is in is in Australia. Hey, Louise. Hey, Stephen. How are you? Let's see who else is on. Hey, Betty, how are you? Betty is uh, is um, Jerry's wife, who's actually wow. in another room. Very cool. Check this out. It's like you find a Home Depot or Best Buy. You pick it up by the handle, you walk up front, you pay for it, and you're on your way home. Check that out. First print I've ever seen that had packing like that. Odin 5 F3. Hey, Andrew. 
Integrated extruder, double Z access, more stable. Resume printing, highly precision guide rails. Hi, Thomas. Very I'm cool. just saying hi to everybody while you while you unpack, Jerry. Awesome. Vicious Stitches. That's a cool name. I have to make. That's a cool name. <laughs> so, uh, howdy, HC. Please uh, like the video, subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Yeah, please like, subscribe. And if you haven't already subscribed to the channel and you do subscribe, ding that bell so you get notified when Jerry goes live. Hey, Dominic. Here we got a... Oh, that's good. It's not a sample roll. It's a little like a little quarter roll here. Yeah, they're, I think they're uh, 250 grams, yeah. That's nice. It's nice to see. Then we got an accessory pack here. Hey, Aaron, how are you? So you Facebook user, whoever you are, uh, if you don't click on that link to, so you um, you give Facebook permission to, to the city, um, reveal your name, okay, power keep cord. over to YouTube instead so we can get to see who you are. A little scraper. Here, welcome, Jim. Little tool set with everything you need in it. <laughs> T-notch, little bolts. And they're not screws, they're bolts. Hey, Cindy. Sorry, I'm trying to keep it. There's a lot of... Fix them, dude. That is, uh, like that's a cool name too, right? And I I, I follow you on, on on some of your social media, but yeah. Hey, fix some dude, how are you? Hey, John, over at Tripod's Garage. Hey, John. Hey, Jason. Oh wow, that is a small filament holder. Very small. Yeah. The usual suspects and a few others as well. And the only suspect person here that's around anyway, Kieran, is you, right? USB. Hey, Dan. Little micro SD USB 2.0, it says. Howdy, Audra. More T notch. And then a little test tube that's got the acupuncture needle in it. That's cool. A little test tube. Yeah. Hey, Ron, how are you? User manual. C3DS. Warranty card and a quick start guide. Hey, Dum Dum. It's gone, Dum Dum. Hey, installation, bed leveling. It does. That box is actually a nice box. It's a nice. Pre it, it's not a, just a normal brown carver box. It's a, it's a nice presentation. Beautiful box. Yeah, it looks like yeah. it's, you know you'd be right at your store or Walmart or wherever you buy it off the shelf. Yeah. Little boys grabbing. Hey, mommy, mommy, I want this. <laughs> Pretty picture on the box. Hey, Jano. Let's see who else. Heavy duty, nice heavy duty box. If we see cat, if you have cats, that'd be good for cats to crawl and take a nap. <laughs> it's a kitty in there. So, so Facebook user, you're only showing up as Facebook user, no name yet. So make sure you switch over to uh, either click the link or jump over onto YouTube. YouTube. Your name will show up. Hey, kid, how are you? So what's my <laughs> what's my psychic name? My psychic name is Jerry. <laughs> Liam Astro Printer, sometimes called Ike. I've been calling many things. <laughs> and you know that. Hey, Dora, how are you? Hello, Dora. How are you doing? Dora is actually with Focus. so Awesome. So we uh, we we have the manufacturer represented in, in chat. Okay, it's upside down. Well, while it's upside down, let's see what's inside. Take a quick oh, peek. Oh, no. Jerry is going to get an Allen key. <laughs> yeah, it's already turned upside down. So before we set it up, let's let's see where. Incendium, how are you? I agree. It is a really nice presentation compared to a lot of others. And of course, that's that's kind of stripped on there. So you got to use tools that came with it. Save ten bucks and, and give them give me a brown box. Actually, this printer is actually on. If you look at the ticker along the bottom of the screen. Tomorrow, there's a really special deal on these. Just tomorrow only, from nine from nine a.m. to nine p.m. Actually, Dora, since you're on chat, let me know: is that nine a.m. to nine p.m. Pacific, or nine a.m. to nine p.m. Eastern Time, U.S.? Yeah, like I said, later. right now you can get a great deal on it with a seventy percent off coupon. But there's only a limited number. I'm sure tomorrow it's going to be available. So first yeah. come, first serve, and it'll be two nineteen ninety nine, which is a great price. I've got a. Direct link, uh, affiliate link down below in the description, or you can just go there on your own. Yeah, it's got a great price. Yeah, so um, Sean, welcome over to well, welcome to the to YouTube because um, you weren't showing up correctly on Facebook. Hey, Sergio. Well, Sergio. 
keeping cats for happy. Let's see, I was on Facebook. Hey, uh, Country 3D. Okay, cool. Now we can hey, see Walter. who you are. Hey, Walter. How you doing, Walter? Walter from Country oh, 3D. Has a so, great uh, Walter, Country 3D is asking, do you know what you're doing yet? <laughs> no, I've always done. I've been doing this for like, what, four or five years now? So, I don't usually break things, and things usually never come broken. But I have a lot of friends out there that have got a lot of things from different people, and they've had a lot of problems out of the box. But Howdy, Kenny. Knock on wood, it hasn't happened here yet. Yeah, we have Matt German in, in chat. Hello, Matt. <laughs> and Karen said, with me advising, it's like the blind leading the blind. <laughs> and I have a hangout every Saturday at 1 p.m. where I invite makers from around the world to come in and talk about what they're doing, their projects and stuff. Yeah, uh, switch cameras here. Evening all, Dennis. We don't want smoke, uh, country. Oh, that's not you. They actually have go, go back over to the power supply. You see, they actually have uh, proper connectors in there, no tinned wires. Yeah, it looks good. Everything looks good. Hey, Mike, how are you? Let's uh, see what we have here. here on see if you can see it here. Where's it at? Case fan right here. Yes. Another fan here blowing on the steppers or 2209s. And the board, I believe, is a input C here. Hey, Scott, how are you? So, uh, uh -oh. Sean, Sean is asking, what's your favorite printer? That's kind of a hard question to answer, to answer because if a printer works, it's a favorite printer, I think. <laughs> I knocked over my stream deck and started playing music. Oh, okay. Try to get this thing set back up. John's not helping. It's probably safe for some more. <laughs> Put the back back on. Everything looks good. We're actually, yeah. since I got it off, we take a picture with my phone. Yeah, it, it's, oh, it's got a Robin Pro um, mini board in, the, in this machine. And so it's a 32-bit board with 2209 steppers, I believe, is what's on I it. I believe. Yeah. Just take some pictures here, so I want to remember what's inside of it, which everybody should do. I won't have to open it back up again to look at it. Oh, fix them, dude. Jerry, hit your hit your uh, your donations. Oh, you, awesome. you just donated. Thank you very much. Thank you for the super chat. Thank you very much. I have music. There we go. Well, that didn't work right. Anyway, I got my buttons messed up. But thank you very much. That's awesome. Fix them, dude. Very cool. Cool. So, um, yeah, so it, it, it has a 32-bit board. It does have um, silent steppers. Um, direct drive, volcano-style hot end. Yep, yeah, direct dual drive, volcano, hot end. Yeah. Steppers, which is nice. It's got filament run out as part of the direct drive, built into the direct drive head. It's a 2208. I knew it was. I wasn't sure if it was 2208s or 2209s. Yeah, I think they're 2209s. Uh, Stephen is saying it's 2208s. Dora, Dora please let they just right. chime in and let us know. I believe, yeah. So to verify if it's either 2208s or 2209s, I'm not sure which one. Since we have uh, someone from Focus in the chat, they can actually uh, confirm for us. Yeah, I'm going to have to look at that. Yeah, it's 2208. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. So we do have a giveaway today. Right, there's going to be a giveaway for five uh, spools of filament, uh, courtesy of Focus, and um, they are for U.S. only. Uh, so if you're, as Jerry said earlier on, if you're in the U.S., later on we'll do a drawing. If you're not in the U.S. but you want to give it to somebody in the U.S., you can do so. You can win, and then you can just give us the information for that person you want to send it to. Yeah, I think that'd be fair. Because no printer, aren't you printing for Toys for Tots right now? I am heavily printing for Toys for Tots. And actually, this printer is actually busy doing that right now. Um, the, so, the uh, yeah, I have just over 800 done. I got a small bit of filament today. 
Um, I have a, another small bit more film coming in tomorrow. So that will get me over, tied me through to, to the weekend at least. You know, one thing a company could do one of these days, when you buy the printer, they include an electric screwdriver with it, a small one to make it fast and easy. <laughs> <laughs> Let's turn it over. The diff, there's not an awful lot of a difference. There's additional functionality between 2208s and 2209s, but when they're just printing, they're both quiet. It doesn't make that big of a difference to most people. Here, the stepper's already plugged in, and voila, we're done. No, anyway. They're yeah. close. You're it's, close. That's pretty much that quick. You just stand it up. You hook in a you hook in a couple cables, which actually these are both hooked up. Both ribbon cables are hooked up. Uh, and they're plugged into the extruder. Oh, okay. Mine weren't. Like mine were not. Yeah. Four four bolts. So let's get those put in, and we'll move on. So remember that, guys. We have 32 people watching. If you have not subscribed to the channel, please hit that thumbs up. So like, subscribe, and ding that bell so you get notified when we go when Jerry goes live again. Really so appreciate. he's doing this unboxing now, but he all he also does. Hangouts as well on Saturday afternoons. And they did not include a wrench for these big bolts here. That's crazy. I thought you did. No, you didn't oh, get one. Minute. Here it is. Here it is. Okay, my bad. My bad. It was hiding. Okay. I'm getting old and forgetful, guys. What's Jason saying? G2 can the main difference in motor output. Yeah, it, yeah, it's not big, and for most people, it won't make much of a difference for them. That's six fifteen Eastern. Or that no, Jerry goes live on on Saturdays. He goes live at one um, p.m. One PM Pacific. That's four p.m. Eastern. Yeah, U.S. times. Yeah, I can change it to whatever day, whatever time. So I try to jump in when I might get people that would want to watch it. I can always change. Sometimes I have special guests on. I mean. I've had Joe Kelly and Chris Riley, many great people have been on. But lately, I just haven't messaged anybody and said any, said any one on one. To, uh, uh, but usually, when I ask when people have time, they pop in and we do a one on one for an yeah. hour. And they tell me about you know themselves and the viewers, things we might not get to see in their videos. Uh, Mike, there are other manufacturers who use tinned wires. Crowley are not the only company that, 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 that has been doing that. There are other manufacturers who do it. Um, Focus did it right. It didn't use tin wires. They actually used proper connectors, which makes a big difference. Yeah, it's a, use, it's a a big use, use a ferrule or use nothing. Because if a tin yeah. wire ever should get hot or break down, then you have a loose connection, and then it can arc and start a fire. Well, Throw okay. Sort out the board. Uh, Matt, most of these Cartesian printers, you're asking to say how fast does it go in millimeters per second. Most of these um, Cartesian, you average print about 50 or 60. Um, when your print speed, you don't normally don't go over that because they're not really designed for really high speed. They may advertise that they do 100 or 150. In reality, most of them do not. Print and um, printing at high speed really needs Core XY. Yeah, they're not expensive. 178 bucks for the UK. It's not expensive. Okay, I don't know if you're going to hear this, but let's see. Yep. <laughs> Jerry's getting his thrills. <laughs> yeah. And on the bed here, we got plastic also. We got to peel off. If I can get a corner. Let's see. Okay, we got that one off. Oh, I think I misread Louise's one. The last gold service with whatever type of coating and sprayed on it looks nice. Or oh, the texture finish. Yeah, I use the yeah. texture finish on that all the time. Okay, on. Dora said the maximum print speed is 100 millimeters a second with the brim, and it works well. See, put the back two on. That's a nice oh. little machine. So Dora has said that she's she's printed at 100 millimeters a second, and it, and it prints fine. So they've actually tested it at that speed. Put some foam behind the Z rod so they don't get banged around and shipping. That's nice. You don't want to get nothing bent. Let's take a look at these cables here. Hear me on. Yes, Jason. It is. Um, it, there are furls used. Um, so everything has got a proper connector. There's no tin wires or bare wires. It's actually properly connected.
Oh, you have another piece of plastic to peel, Jerry. That touch screen. If I can grab it. Damn it, I have nails. You need tweezers. <laughs> Let me see if I can grab it with these. Well, Aaron, they said um here we go. <laughs> we need that um what is that um just that that music? Oh yeah. <laughs> I can't remember what it's called. But um well Aaron Dora said who's actually with focus, she said she's printed at that speed and the print's fine. So I haven't tested mine to that speed myself. Uh but I and I do have one of these printers. So this is the same bill volume as the um, as an Ender three. Yes, I believe I wrote two thirty five, two thirty five by fifty. By two fifty, yeah. And it comes with a point four nozzle, and it has a it has a, a volcano style hot end. Oh, yes, film will run out center built in. Yep. And as long as you don't run a bracing filament, screw it, you shouldn't have trouble with it. Okay, got to tighten up my, uh, uh, what should we call it, nut? Your x-axis, your concentric nuts. Yeah, it's very loose. You should tilt your um, your close-up camera up so we can see what's going on. Oh. There you go. Underneath here, there'll be an eccentric nut. You can snug it up a little bit. Yeah, and that, well, yeah we're not talking about Jerry being the eccentric nut. <laughs> Oh, no, that's fair. Well, if you're skeptical, you should test it out, right? That's the only way to find out for sure. I haven't pushed to that speed. I have not tried a 1.2 millimeter nozzle on that. On that one printer, no, I have not. I've done them on other printers and they work, but I have not tried it on that machine. Yeah, whenever I tie it up an eccentric knot, I'll stop the stop it from moving and I grab a wheel and if I can still spin it, then it's good. If it's so tight, I can't spin it when it's without resistance and it's not, it's not tight enough. But yeah, that's good right there. Yep. And a filament run out. Let's see the filament spool holder. Let's throw that on here. Yeah, so it's 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 mostly assembled. Um uh, 99% is probably well it depends on what you count in. Sometimes you have to put the two ribbon cables in and the four bolts on mine. I simply sit it up, put in the four bolts, two on each side, ready yep. to go. And if I want to take this on the go and you know, if I had to get out of the house real quick or take off, go to my buddy's house, I could pull out four screws, lay it down, put it in a suitcase or, you know, um, not sure if it'll fit, but if you got your carry-on, you know, you could possibly put it in here maybe, if not your regular suitcase. It'll, so probably, it'll fit in a regular suitcase for sure. Okay, filament holder. Uh, yeah, I, I printed with a 1.2. Um, I've done PETG with a 1.2 nozzle. And it prints fine. Uh, like obviously, the, the the quality of the print depends on your layer height more than anything. But yeah, it, it does minimize the amount of time you're spending on walls, so it, it does speed up the prints. Um, but it all depends on your hot end whether you can melt it. And you often have to go much higher on temperature to melt material fast enough for it. On PLA, typically on every machine, I do two ten and sixty typically, and sometimes I might have to go up a little bit. But with PLA, I usually don't. And of course, PETG, TPU, things like that are different. Different settings. The SD, their little USB stick here ought to have some pre-sliced files on it. And this should have software on it, but I don't need to install the Cura, which will be a basic uh, version most companies include. If I remember correctly, the Cura profile for that machine is on the SD card. Um, but there are there is the community support for the for stuff like that. It, the, the, there's a big, there's a good community following out there. For the machine, um, so yeah, I got a link down, down below in the description for Focus's uh, Facebook group, and like I say, where you can find them over on Amazon. Yeah, I've got um. Well, the the the, the way the ribbons are the cables are laid out, they don't they they're they they do bend, but it's in an arc. It's not a sharp bend, um. So it's not so bad. It's like some places where the ribbon cable actually kinks over to ninety degrees. 
they actually don't do that because the cable is long enough that it stays in a loop when it's all the way over on the x-axis um and they're easy to replace because you just have to pull them out and put in a new cable push click and you're done so they're, they're easy to switch out if you need to dum dum says are you done yet <laughs> yeah why be in a hurry it's fun putting stuff together put that in there give it a quick turn Ta-da! done yeah no you only turn a quarter away because yeah, I see that if you keep turning then you unlock it again yeah Okay, I'll probably have to change that out because I don't want that to lock itself and the pool falls on the ground. Yeah. There, there's, yeah. We're debating the volcano. I'm oh, sorry. Well, the volcano, if you want to print at higher speeds or with a larger nozzle, the volcano does make a difference because you can melt more material faster um, because your heater block is, is taller. Um, so it does make a difference when you're printing at higher speed. Like if you're doing a 0.8 or a one millimeter nozzle, it, it makes a difference. Okay, quick start, guy. I got everything done except for leveling the bed. Please excuse me, the phone ringing. Okay. All right, Geek Two K, okay, take care. Okay, she got it. Thank you for dropping. Oh, you got it. You got a super chat. Awesome. Super sticker. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. Appreciate That's it. That's Sergio. Cool. Super awesome. I had different a different button for that. I got it mixed up. Thank you very much. Uh, okay. Local maker, yeah. Big nozzles are, are good for vase mode. Um, you don't always get stringing with them if you go, do proper. Not not if you do your attraction settings and so on, right? And you get the right temperatures. It won't. Let's go ahead and uh, turn it on. And see what happens here. Okay, okay. Um. Let's see. Let me. I got a flash. Let me double check it. Now, if it's uh, if it's on two twenty, nothing will happen to the U.S. You know, if it's on uh, one ten, then obviously it'll fire right up. I can't really tell. There's no. Yeah, you can't. There's no. There's no um, logo on the outlet. Let's see if we get a screen. Did oh, you, you know what? I forgot to plug it in. <laughs> that helps, Jerry. Power yeah. does help. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. See, a power supply, a power cable has two ends. They both need to be plugged in for it yeah. to work. <laughs> yeah. All right. Here we go. <laughs> We've got life. Yeah, cool. you've got power. Color it's up and running. Color touch screen. Very nice. Uh, magnetic induction, um, probably. I don't know how fast it would be, but there is a limit on how much you can do through magnetic induction, how much uh, uh, current you can pass. You well with a point you can do line width. You can do a, a, a broader line width, but you lose. When you go broader line width, you do lose some accuracy because it moves slower and extrudes more. And so it actually, it's kind of splurges out the side. So some of the detail is actually lost when you do that. Well, oh, curmudgeon. Air gap. Wireless printing. Uh, there's, there is wireless printing. You just ask somebody else to do it. <laughs> yes, fix and do it. It is alive. So Jason Arano says. Sorry. Drop the comment off the screen. You'll be able to see it going down. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, I just I just showing what everyone is saying. So it's you're doing a, a home. I'd have mine in here, but it's 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 actually busy printing right now. It's printing um uh, a train. So the the pot the print head parks off the bed. You're right there on the corner. Yeah. The Z ends up does work. Yes, it does. 
Actually, there are. Uh, uh, I believe the Zn substances are optical. Tilt it up there. Let's see. What am I doing here? Uh, inner library interface five point auxiliary leveling. Leveling bottom corner. Yeah, just to the four other points. Where so you, uh, we can see what's happening because you're only on close up. So either do the split screen or, yeah, that'll work. Let's see. Does this end up? It does work. Maybe what I remember is a butane heater block. That'd be very hard to control the temperature. A beauty and heater block would be really hard to control accurate temperatures. If you want to barely grab the paper, we'll do all four corners and check the middle. Over there, it's barely grabbing it. And we'll move on to the next point. What you can see right here is the second one right there. I think it's an optical illusion. Uh, uh, Sergio said it, it, that the the Z gantry seems to be tilted forward, and he no, it's like an yeah, it is an optical illusion. Yeah. Um, I didn't use. I checked mine after I assembled it without using a um, with a square after the fact, and it was good um, when I built my printer. Um, because you saw it live on stream, those who watched my, my live unboxing of the spinner. And um, it was good. And it's, it's sturdy. Um, it's a small, you're not moving a lot of weight. So you, it, like it, as long as you have those bolts tightened down, you're, like it's not going to budge after that. It is the same build volume as the Ender 3. You are correct. Um, so, uh, but it's a direct drive. And so flexibles are easier with this. It's a 235 by 250 build area. Sorry, Jerry. I was. Go ahead. That's fine. Yeah. So it is the same volume as the Ender 3, but it is direct drive. It is a silent board. It does have silent steppers um, in, com all in comparison to the, um, which the Ender 3 does not. Dark blue might not be the best UI color. For, um, Actually, when you're actually uh, maybe not on camera, but actually in person, it, it works fine. I haven't had a problem with the with the UI. It, it'll like, and the, the um, if I remember correctly, the source code is out there. So if you want to make changes to it, you can. I believe they've published the source code. Um, uh, uh, so for the community, it it is their own um, designs direct drive. The Holland is a. Um, the hot end is a volcano style hot end. It's not an original volcano, but it's a volcano style hot end. Um, okay, and actually, I've got a preheat for PLA. Let's see what it says here. I think it's 200 degrees. Joshua, you uh, yeah, it, it probably is, but they have a big sale going on right now. So tomorrow there's a big sale in the U.S. Um, if you see, look at the bottom ticker that's going on right now, but in the bottom of the screen, there's a there's a, a special pricing for tomorrow for two nineteen. So right now you can get a seventy percent um, seventy percent uh, or seventy dollar off. Yeah, um, but tomorrow they have a special price just Three. during. Three fifty nine ninety nine right now. The seventy percent off dollar yep. off coupon. But tomorrow there's a limited supply where you can get it for two nineteen ninety nine from like six a.m. in the morning till six p.m. I've got it written on the screen. I got a link below in the description. Yeah, I just want to verify with Dora though. Dora, is that special price six a.m. to six p.m. U.S. East or U.S. West, or U.S. Pacific? Or does it does is it based on where you are? I don't know. Can you let me know which one which time zone that applies to? Oh yeah, yeah. It, it looked like I, as I said I'm using this printer right now, 
for because uh, I'm doing the the toys for tots and I'm using this printer, uh, and it's pretty much do, going every single day. I print, let it cool down, pop the part off the bed, hit print again because it does have the print again feature on, on enabled. So it presents you with that when the, when the job is done. Pop, pop off the part, hit print again, and it goes on and resumes again. Um, and it's it's going over and over and over. It's, that's the way I have it set up right now. Yeah, I'm heating up the hot end so I can put film in that. So uh, I like this. I, I like this machine. Uh, I, as I said, I'm using it heavily, and I'm not a big fan of small printers myself. I like larger printers. I think yeah. besides this, I have two printers that are small. This one and another, and that I that I would deem small because everything else I have are three hundred um three hundred by three hundred or above, right? But um, it's consistent. It prints well. Uh, I don't have print quality issues with it. I've, I haven't had any. I've had two clogs, which were my mistake, because I I didn't ex I didn't clear the um, exchange filament correctly. Uh, and but other than that, um, that's it. That's all I had. So and then, now, Jerry, something that's not very well documented that you knew, that you should be aware of. What? On the print head, if you look in the very front, can you put your camera on the front of the print head? Because you're loading filament. I want to show you this. Now, to the side of the extruder, where the extruder motor is, see this, see this, the little, what looks like a little button with a screw hole in the center? Yes. That's the push button to relieve the pressure on the extruder to push the material in. Okay, okay. So it's not, docu I didn't see it documented anywhere, but I just want to point it out to you. All right. Oh, the one, the, the one in front, yeah. They're not. I don't like. Mine has never fallen out, so I wouldn't say they're fragile. They're they're pushing. You put them in once, and you leave them there. And if you have to, if the ribbon ever goes bad, you slide it straight out, put in a new ribbon, push it in, and you're done. Oh, I see. Yeah, that little yeah, pad is um, at the bottom of the fan, and that the button you can push in a little bit. Yeah, I wrap my hand over the top of the head when I'm doing it, but yeah. So Pacific time zone. So so from six a.m. Um, tomorrow, from six a.m. Pacific to six p.m. Pacific, that that um, the two nineteen ninety nine price applies. So if you're in the east, you wait until. 9 a.m. in the morning before you buy. You're in the Eastern time zone. Thanks for clarifying that, Dora. And this deal is for Dora covers the U.S. So this deal is for the U.S. right only, as as far as I know. But um, if there's other deals, Dora, that they are out there for other parts of the world, feel free to paste them into the chat for other people. So because we do have. People who here from all over, like uh, Australia, like different parts of Asia and the UK, and um, and also Europe. So if there are other deals going on out there, please post them in there. And if and if not, if you go to the the user group for Focus, they often do post deals out there on the user group. So if you want to find out if there's any, if you're interested in the printer, go check out the user group and join the user group because they do regularly post stuff up there if there's any special deals going on. But you can print the brick printer. Well, you can't. Well, maybe, probably, maybe. Yeah. Well, if you saw, if anyone saw Nerissa's um, streams from the um, yesterday, as it's a small plastic printer that I also did an unboxing of a few weeks ago, or about two months ago. Yeah, you could probably print that on on this printer because it's that little thing is so small. Now there is a Wi-Fi option there. There's no Wi-Fi card. You can get the Wi-Fi card and add it. It's a Robin board, so the, the Robin have a Wi-Fi card that you can add into your printer. It's an optional extra. They just have it turned on in the firmware. Okay, I was just trying to turn off the hot end. See, it's got a close button, it says, right here. Yeah. So it can cool down a little bit. And I can pop an SD card and uh, see what we got. Um. SD card. They, they that is true. They, some do cut them up and they, they pre-slice them up for you. 
um, into, into, into pieces. That's not always the case. It's more common on resin printers than it is on FDM to have the offer to be sliced. No, it's an SD card. You have, there's an SD yeah, card. Yeah. For that. yeah. Yeah. Doesn't take the whole thing. Yeah, the, the Wi Fi board to add into those is very, very cheap. You just open the board, slot it in, and then turn the printer on, and it's done because they've already enabled it in the firmware. I have the Robin board and a couple of other printers, and it works really well, really well. So. That's not in all the way, is it, Jerry? Yeah. Okay. Yes, three. Go back, back. Let's see, Nightbot. Okay. So, guys, again, if you if you if you're the first time here, hit um for everybody, hit that thumbs up, um for, for Jerry channel. Hit like. Let's go like. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Ding the bell so you get notified when Jerry goes live. Um, Jerry will be going live um, for Hangouts every Saturday at 1 p.m. Pacific. It's 4 p.m. E U.S. Eastern times. So people, everybody's welcome to come join. Okay, it's available in the U.S., Germany, Canada, Mexico, Spain, Italy, France, on Amazon. So the, the North, North America and and uh, most and most of Europe. I'm looking at my camera. I heard somebody yelling. Okay, yeah. G code files. There's a button. The folder says G code. Oh wow, yeah. they're all colorful. Check that out. You guys well, see it, that? it yeah. Well, the, um, because it's a 32-bit board, it has a visualizer, and you can actually and if you if you slice the files correctly, um, you can actually show the image of them when you slice them. Well, that's cool. Also, I found out that if you don't like the color of this yellow fan shroud, you can print a different one in whatever color you want. Yes, the, and as well as that, the community has even modified some of those fans to create different cooling systems. As well. a, a bench a cat, a little figure, which I think is, not sure the figure is. And another cat. We have two cats on here. Oh, one solid, one hollow. And a fan. Let's print the little figure, the little dude. I think it's the guy from Transformers. I don't know why he's on here, but. Um, yeah. Oh, what's his name? Shia LaBeouf? Yeah, 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 yeah. I can't pronounce it right, but yeah, that's him. Yeah. So that might not take too long. Hit confirm. And look, it's drawn right on the screen. Check that yeah. out. Yeah, the visualizer is nice. That's cool. Because so I've, I've actually loaded the wrong print before, and I come back out and I check it later. It's like, wow, I just printed that. So I hit the wrong, I, hit, I clicked on the wrong thing. And not yeah. So the vi that's the way the visualizer is nice. But when you slice your own files, there's a little add on you need to add the Cura to make that work. But it, it, there's a little plug in. So the specs um, are, as, as you requested, it is the Odin 5S3 printer. It is a 235 by 235 by 250 in Z. Um, it is that the, uh, the Dora, who's actually in chat, has said that they regularly print, they have printed on this using um, at 100 millimeters a second successfully um, with, with good quality. And uh, so... It's a good little machine. It's got a it's got a, a Robin Pro Mini, a Robin Mini main board with silent steppers, 2208 silent steppers. Um, built, it's uh, nice that it comes with a manual that explains all the parts, where everything's located. I didn't look at it much. Um, it's kind of self-explanatory. Tip it up, put in four bolts. Normally, you got to put in the two yeah. ribbon cables. Those were already done for me. Um, took off the bottom. I didn't need to, but I, whenever I receive anything that gets transported from truck to truck or airplane or however it came. You never know when a connection might be loose, so it's good to always check your connections. Yep. Jason, thank you very much for the $5. Awesome, man. Thank you. Appreciate Hi. that. Hey, Tripod, how are you? Did I miss one? Oh, I just saw it coming in now. Thank you, sir. Oh, uh, I, I haven't checked what size they are. Jerry, do you have the specs of the size of those bowls? Uh, Steve says he got a printer and it was missing the four bolts to hold up the Z axis. I ripped off my little papers and threw them in the box. I'm looking at the paperwork. Well, Dora will actually, if you if you message Dora, she can actually give you the details. I go to the group, message Dora, and she can give you all the details. Hey, yeah, so Jason, uh, did you see why Jason gave you the five bucks for building it faster than the Prusa? 
<laughs> yeah, the Prusa Mini, man, the kit. It wasn't like four bolts and a couple cables. It was like 200 and something parts. I paid, I had to wait, what, like three or four months to get it in the mail. Yeah. I saved it like, what, 40 or 50 bucks, but I wanted to make a, a couple live streams out of it. So it's worked out good. Thank you very much, Tripod. Awesome. Thank you very much for the $5. Uh, the knots, it says, the T knots, there's M4 by three, the little bolts, the M4, eight by threes. Then it's the cylindrical head screw package. But the four little, it has three little bolts here. It says flathead screw. I call them bolts or M4, eight by threes. So, but you know, if you buy these little kits off Amazon that have a million little screws and bolts, you probably already have what you need laying around to grab out your couple boxes. And, you know, never throw away old extra parts. You never know when you'll need them. Yeah. Oh, and, and Dan, yes, the sale is tomorrow. Oh, sorry. Uh, Andrew posted there. But yeah, it is tomorrow from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. Pacific time. Uh, you can buy it at two nineteen ninety nine. Yeah, two nineteen ninety nine. They have a limited supply, so it's first come, first serve. I don't know how many limited supply is. It could be fifty, it could be a hundred, two hundred. I have no idea how many units. But right now, if you buy it, you can save seventy dollars off. It's two the, two fifty nine ninety nine with seventy per dollar off coupon right now on Amazon. When you go to the page, the little box you check for the coupon, you'll save that and check out. Okay, so uh, rebuilt the the maximum. Bed temperature they say is one is, is this here is 120 and the nozzle is 260. Now it is not a, it is a direct drive um, printer, so the max nozzle is 260. Let's Comes see. with a couple extra bolts and screws, wrenches, a um, great big giant nozzle. It appears to be a block wrench to hold the block. We take off the nozzle. You know, got yeah. a little big wrench here. So, yeah, that's for the block. Yeah, I've never seen a block wrench in a kit before. And they're stamped steel; they work perfectly fine. Their Facebook group for Focus is down below in the description, where you can find them over on Facebook. There's a link to the group down there, also. Yeah, the group is very active, and um, it's very, very active. Um, and so, if you have questions, you can always reach out to the guys there. The film that we're going to be giving away in a little bit is going to be two full-size spools, one red. Uh, and we have red and we got white. We're going to give away a total of five spools, USA only. We'll put a keyword in the chat in a little bit. And uh, if you're not in the U.S. and you do want to enter and give this to somebody in the U.S., you need to, you'll need you have to give me their information, their address, phone number, email address, and then it can be shipped directly to them. So that's one of the way we can work that. Yeah. Um... Okay, here goes the print now. So you're asking about a PTFE. I believe uh, I need to double check. I don't think I've actually gone into the hot end. Um, I believe it is, it is. I don't believe it's an all metal hot end. But Dora, please correct me if I'm wrong. Um, uh, but I believe there's a little bit of PTFE in the hot end. Um, as uh, but I don't. I don't think it's all metal. How's the yeah, first pair looking? I got the nozzle really close, but it's gonna print. Let's see. Yeah, it's really close. It's probably too close. Yeah, yeah, so tighten up the belts a little bit. Or yeah. the bed. Just give them a tweak in each corner. Small little bit of a tighten. Trying to think which way. So what was it? The giveaway will be will be chosen using StreamYard. So um, you'll be asked to enter a keyword later on, and then Jerry will choose some will choose somebody uh, or use StreamYard to pick the winner. Yeah, I'm not sure if I went too far or not, but I got, I'm seeing, I'm getting extrusion, but I've never adjusted on a fly before. Oh, I, I have. It, it, first time yeah. you, do, you use a print, you always tweak it on the go. You don't really then, know. You, I do it by the screen, the baby stepping, and I don't know if it has that feature on here. Yeah, PTFE doesn't like the high temps. I agree. So I wouldn't, I personally wouldn't go over 240, maybe pushing 245 because of PTFE. Um, I wouldn't go over. I normally stay below that. Yeah, like I do a lot of PETG printing, and I'd stay around 235, 240 at max. I'm about eight foot away from my monitors, 
And on one of the monitors, I blew it up really big with text so I can read the text. But everything else is far away, and I've got a mouse and keyboard I have over here. But since I have Lee in here, I don't have to. He's handling it for me. Now, so that this proves, despite what you all think, I am good for something, right? <laughs> Lee's a, a great guy. We beat up on him too much. Just like Tripod. Uh, John from Tripod's Garage, we, we bash him too much. We shouldn't do that. I don't mind it. It's all fun. It's all in fun. It's all in fun, you know. If you can't. See, I'm can good at giving it. Yeah, but Jerry, I'm good at giving it, so I better be willing to take it too, right? <laughs> You know, if I ever say anything on live stream that offends anybody, let me know. It'll instantly stop. I don't mean to, uh, you know, get carried away with comments. Yeah, the focus is soft on that. The focus is off on the focus, Jerry. <laughs> Let's see if that helps. No. No. That's just the light. I'm not hitting white button. I'm hitting a negative button. Yeah, well... Just move it back a little bit. Move it away a, small, a fraction. But that works too. Now we don't need to watch the screen because we just want to watch the print. So yeah. Yeah, one side of the print didn't come out properly, and I crank. I manually uh, readjusted the knob slightly, and I changed it. But it should print okay. Yeah, it looks like it's doing it. It's, it's going fine now. And I see people make comments that the fan is noisy on. It's not that bad. I don't hear the steppers or nothing on it. The only noise I hear is the fan, but it's not that loud. I mean, machines are supposed to make noise. That way you know they're working. Well, yeah, but the fan itself doesn't make noise. If you take the fan out of the shroud, you don't hear it. What you're hearing is air pressure as it pushes over the surfaces, right? Here, can, can, I'll put the mic up there. See if you can hear it. We can hear the fan. But in my room right now, I've got two other printers going. Yeah, but like you can't really have a completely silent fan because if you do, yeah, you're not moving enough air because the air movement is going to make noise, right, at, at that speed. Remember the original CR10s? They would whine and sing and make all kinds of racket. But oh yeah, and didn't uh, what was his name? One of the other streamers didn't he make one of his printers sing? Oh yeah, I've seen that where somebody. What done was that. his name? Uh, I can't remember uh, his I name. Think it was, was it Andrew Sink had done it? Like a few years back. Whom? Might have been Andrew Sink. I can't remember. Let's take a look at what this box looks like here. Let's see, it comes with a booklet, 3D printer filament. I think it's a booklet. <laughs> so yeah, and then like a lot of people say uh, um, just, uh, that the printer is silent and they expect everything to be quiet. If it's quiet, it's not doing its job. Because there's something not right, like a silent stepper, so it's not screeching at you like some of the older machines. Yeah, that's out of focus. Jerry you can't you see you that. You can't really read it, but the paperwork that comes with the filament it has all kinds of tips for resin, DOP, filament types. It lists all kinds of filament types: temperatures, bed temp, density, heat distortion, melt flow, tensile strength. It's got a lot of information here and many columns, so that's really cool. Yeah, well, Kamojin, that's what I think it was. He used that. To generate G code, and by moving the by just moving the the, the steppers like X Y Z, um, and he he was actually able to make it and um, play play music. It was kind of fun to watch. Yeah. Then we got a plastic window glued in here. That's really nice. So once you um, put your it back in your desk and close it up, it helps to keep air out of it. It's got an actual plastic window there. That's really cool. Yeah. Got a white and a red here, so five of those oh, will give away here in just a little bit. Yeah, Andrew, share some with me. Yeah, I like that'd be fun. Uh, that'd be a fun stream to do. To have it sing. So please send some on to me. Yeah, I've got many future videos coming out and I posts online of different things that I printed with the white and the red film in here. That's why I asked them to send it to me. If I'm going to review the printer, it'd be very nice if you send me out some filament that I could use for all my reviews. So we'll get them all out, print a lot of goodies, post them online. Yeah. Now, I think there is a site, though, that you can, you can upload a MIDI file and it will generate G-code to make your printer sing. But that, oh, it's, that's only on the old 8-bit boards. That will not run. That, they will not do it on the 32-bit boards because, because of the silent steppers on them. So, uh, remember, remember, guys, like, subscribe, ding that bell if you haven't already done so. Please, th all those thumbs up help the, al the YouTube algorithm. Um, this printer... As Jerry, like Jerry's showing you now, this is the focus. 
Odin 3 F5 printer. It is going on sale in the U.S. only tomorrow from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. Pacific time. Uh, uh, okay, so and it's a two nineteen ninety nine. But you can get this. So it's the same as size as an Ender 3. And it's direct drive. It's got a 32-bit 30, board. And it's running 2208 silent steppers on the, on the machine. Yeah, right now it's three fifty nine ninety nine with a seventy dollar off coupon. But if you go to buy it tomorrow and they're all out of them, at that price, when they come back in stock, hopefully they'll still have a seventy dollar off coupon. It's, it's a great deal for seventy dollars off. Yeah, right. It is. Yeah. But yeah, oh, Jerry, yeah. you, Jerry, Texas you made, the, Jerry, What's you that? made, you made the the the. You you use white filament as your uh, as your demo filament. Yeah, I use the one that came with it. Yeah. Okay. White is really is always bad on camera, <laughs> but yeah. okay. I can well I can fix that. I can take a black light and shine on it. And that would make it glow. <laughs> and it would be purple, purplish. Yeah, it's phosphorus. Yeah. Yeah. Very cool. That looks like. How's the surface? How's the, how's the layers looking? Yeah, it's looking real good. I don't know if you can how well you can see it, but yeah, it's hard to see with white. So okay, so it's doing the outline, and then it's doing some it's doing some um, infill. Okay. Let me see if I can get my little uh, black light and shine on it. Maybe that'll help it. <laughs> I took the debris and I kind of threw it everywhere. So I'm off the course. I think it'd be fine printing ABS because what what temperature do you print ABS? Roughly around two thirty five, two forty. I think it'd be fine for ABS. I wouldn't go too high. I wouldn't go out, like print at two fifty because then you have the issue with PTFE breaking down. But at two forty for ABS, it should be fine. Obviously, you need an enclosure as well. Yeah, well, yeah. When it's in shadow, you can see it. I think it's the overhead light is illuminating too much. No, that makes it worse. Yeah. You put more light on it, which will make it worse. Yeah, it only make the white. It only make it glow. When it's when it's in shadow under the print head, you can actually see the detail. You can see what's going on, and it looks like it's good doing a good print because it's doing infill right now. Does that help at all? Actually, yeah, it did an awful lot, yeah. <laughs> but um, so you understand, so Jerry's going to stand there with a box in his hand like this for the rest yeah. of the <laughs> no. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> I'm Let's, the box okay. man. Okay, now we're taking bets to see how long Jerry can hold it. Yeah. <laughs> so one without with no enclosure, one ten, you're pushing it with it with ABS because ABS loves to warp. It loves to bend to to flex because of heat differentials. It has so, a uh, color touch screen, which is cool. It is quiet. You can take out four bolts if you want to put it down. I won't. I'll leave it set up forever. But if you ever wanted to take out four bolts, you can lay it over and take it with you. Um, be very easy to move around. If I want to go to Murph next year, which I want to go, it'd be really hard to take a larger printer, break it down, which I can, put it in a mm -hmm. suitcase. It'd be a the pain. This would be a lot easier. Yeah. It'd be easy to transport. I agree. Really easy to transport. So, Kit says you need an umbrella to block the overhead light. Well, I'm doing an octo lapse behind me. I can unplug another light, but then I'm going to lose part of my octo lapse. Let me go unplug it. Hold on. Um, Facebook user, you're showing up as Facebook user um, because you haven't clicked that little link above in Facebook to, to um, give Facebook permission. Uh, and because you're doing, you're showing up as Facebook user. Uh, when we do the drawing later on, we can include you because we can identify who you are. So please, yeah, that's that actually does make a difference, Jerry. Okay, I'll leave that off. Light off for a while. So, yeah. so Facebook user, please click on the link to give permission for, for Facebook or or give permission for Streamyard Jump or. Away. Jump over to YouTube, and that way then we'll see your, your ID properly on YouTube. Oh, it's okay. All right. It's just that we can't draw your name later on and when we're doing the drawing for the giveaways. We have five spools of filament to do giveaways on later on. 
Five Fools uh, USA only. Yes. Unless you know somebody in the U.S. that you can have it sent to. And yeah, you you, everybody, to my email will be posted on the screen in a little bit, and it's below in the chat, jenap one at yahoo.com. After you win, please contact me. Let me know if you want red or if you want white, and I need an address and a phone number. Of course, if you email me, I'll have your email automatically. And why a phone number? That's required by the company. <laughs> That's the way all companies work. They want all information from people. Well, the shipping company needs it, I believe. Is, is what I believe. Yeah, in case there's a problem, they have to call yeah. you or something. Yeah, they, and they often need, um, they, they always need phone numbers. Most shipping companies do. That's yeah, looking real good so far. Yeah, it's a good little printer. Um, I, I, as I said, I haven't had print quality issues with it, um, and I've used it. Do you want to show an example of the print quality with it, Jerry? Sure. Yeah, yeah. If you got something, sure. Just okay, so I can. Just, just I won't screen. go full screen. No, I'll just do it in my small no, it's okay. screen. Drag it, drag yourself over. I don't care. You're okay, so this is a filament. I know, th and this is filament I tried out. I, I printed on this machine today. Beautiful. So the print is the print quality is. Show really that good. comment. Show that comment on screen. YouTube, you see it on YouTube? Uh, no, it doesn't show up here yet. Oh, the donations welcome is all I see. No, Dora posted it. Uh, it disappeared. She was telling another person about the screws that he was missing. She'll ship them to him. Oh. I don't see the comment now. I was going to click approve. It said show or hide, then it went away. Yeah, I didn't see it. I'm so, yeah, it didn't show up for me. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, it's there now. Okay. Okay, somebody else, one of the other mods caught it. All right, thank you, guys. Yeah. Yeah, so it, it, it prints the print quality is really nice out of that printer. Thank old Kamajim. So very good. It's very nice. And that's without yeah, I know you've anything. like hundreds and hundreds of things. And Liam is looking for more donations of filament. So if any companies are watching or anybody wants to donate to Liam on PayPal, he can post his link because he needs more money to buy more filament to make more toys for toys for tots. Because he's kind of like Running out of filament, and the company that's IC 3D, I think, yeah, hasn't sent him any yet. So, well, they, they will be, uh, but I don't know how much I'm getting. And I, I'm like, I've done about 800 toys so far, but my goal is to reach about 3,000 personally that I'm going to supply. I haven't, yeah, turned look okay, guys, or anything else I can do here to improve it. I'm, yeah, not a, yeah. I'm not a Joe telling, but I try to be happy and excited. I don't yeah, know, I think it was okay to keep me motivated. She's in the bedroom and she only hits me upside of the head. so... She don't know. <laughs> Let's see. And those of you that may not know me or don't know, a lot of times I make wise cracks about my wife on air, and then she comes in the room and chokes me or pops me upside the head or something like that. It's in fun, but yeah, that happens quite a bit. We we all go to Jerry's channel just to see Betty pop, knock him upside the head <laughs> on streams. <laughs> yeah, but it's printing really nice. And yes, I receive this printer free in the mail, but all opinions are my own. And if anybody that knows me, if I have something to say, I always okay. say what's on my mind. So if I had a problem with something, I would bring it up. I plan on doing plenty of more future videos on this, printing tons of things. I'll post it on social, Facebook group, Facebook page, doing more videos on it. So yeah, so far you know, so good. The only thing you should do, Jerry, you should go back through all of your, yeah, you should go back through all of your your um, your hangouts. Where and get every single shot where Betty pops you upside the head. Oh, and make a video about stream of <laughs> you know, just a video of Jerry of Jerry's head bops. Did Jerry get in trouble? Oh, here she <laughs> comes. Hey, baby boot. How you doing? Here comes my wife. I haven't said nothing wrong, so she'll be nice. Yes, kind of walk up. <laughs> the wife's not showing up real good, so I shut those off right now temporarily. Nice here. Yeah, there we Yay. go. <laughs> I wouldn't wave to everybody. This is Betty Boop, my wife, Brandy now. When she got on YouTube, we didn't know what to call her. I said, well, you love Betty Boop. We'll just call you Betty Boop. And at the time, she was 45. Your birthday's on the 16th. It'll be, what, 47? So she's been on YouTube for two years, posting comments and stuff. So, yeah. Now, now even Dora has seen you getting bopped upside the head. <laughs> a little bopped the head. I had to. Like a little head. If you go around the other side, you can see it on the front here. It's got a color screen on it. Yeah, I saw that. Uh, well, it wouldn't be, it wouldn't be a Jerry stream unless you got popped upside the head at least yeah. once, right? Exactly. <laughs> hey, Brian, how are you? Hey, Brian, how's it going, buddy? 
Cool little printer here, Brian. A little focus, color, color touch screen. Well, yeah, I have to say, uh, Facebook user, I have to agree with you that Dora is fantastic in the community for the community. If you ask questions, you have issues, and you and you 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 you, uh, you ask Dora, and if you have a, if you have an if a problem, she has always she's always monitoring the chats in the, in the group in the user group, and she's always she's always on it. I mean, like. Yeah. They had a live stream much. like a week ago, and I woke up early, and I was watching TV in the living room, and I came out here to my hobby room, which is actually the biggest room in my house, and I was like, oop, I just missed it. So, And my phone at night, uh, I don't sleep well at night. I usually go to bed 10, 11 o'clock at night. My phone dings. If you ding, if you ding me in the middle of the night, my phone goes chirps. So I'll get up and go check my computer. So I got my hobby room close by, and then the biggest, I have two living rooms in my house, and the largest room in the house used to be a dining room. You used to have a pool table in here. We never used this room, so I made it a hobby room. Then I took my outside patio and I put up a wall and enclosed it. And that's my laser and my resin room. I got my three resin printers, my K40 laser, and then I got a small diode laser that I'm building as a kit. And I hopefully will get more uh, diode lasers from other companies to test and review. It'd be really cool. Yeah. Jerry wants as many diode lasers. Hey, who was that one? Hey, Dennis. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much, Dennis. Cover the cost of, of, of Betty coming down to smack upside the head. <laughs> Very nice. Thank you, sir. There's a question there I think I missed. No, I didn't. Okay. Okay, which camera looks better? This one? Or no, not that one. We don't see me. I say stick with that setup. Yeah, that because they can see the print on you. All right. So you got a question asking you which do you think is better, this or the Anycubic Viper? The I Viper, I have a, a return machine from Anycubic, and I haven't worked on it yet. I went and picked that up yesterday from a man here in Vegas. It was a return <laughs> machine go back, going back to Anycubic, and I was able to acquire it. I have to figure out what's wrong with it, get it running, and I'll do some videos on it. So at the moment, I don't know. Yeah. Um, don't have an opinion on that yet. Adora, since you're out there, can you get the, the, the URL to the user group? It's in the description, but still, if you're if you're on there, you can paste it in the chat because someone's asking for the link to the user group. Most printers, most bed slingers aren't really which one is better than another. It's usually based on price, and they sometimes have different features. But if you get a printer dialed in, this one will print just as good as that one or that one or that one. It's all Agreed. a matter of the person that has the printer. Uh, usually, and you get it dialed in. Most printers print about the same quality. It's just a matter of temperature, getting your first layer right, and uh, you know. Yeah, and I think asking if one because he's just unboxes to say say if one if one's better than the other is kind of unfair because he hasn't really used yeah, it I don't that know. much. I have, much, I have it sitting here. I don't have an opinion yeah. yet. So, and I have never. I don't have any the any cubic machine, so I, I can't comment on any on, on any cubic systems. I've never had a printer with a ribbon cable other than a CR10 Max that I bought from a friend of mine. Where it's got that big ribbon cable hanging off the side. I don't use it that much, so I haven't had a problem. Whether this ribbon cable moving back and forth or up and down will be a problem, I don't know at this time. I will yeah. see. The only thing I had to do on this set is that the um, extruder was a little bit loose. Uh, it's got a direct run extruder on it, and I had to tighten up the eccentric nut on the bottom. It was a little loose. Well, they say the max speed is 300, but They've test. They've actually printed with good quality up to 100, is what Dora told us earlier. Why be on. in a hurry? I mean, I'm retired. The days fly by as it is. Why be in a hurry? It takes as long as it takes. People have asked me for four or five years. Well, how fast did you print it? How long did it take? How much film did you use? I don't know. I put well, it in and print it. It takes as long as it takes. Yeah, that makes a difference when you're when you're when you're churning out stuff like I am at the moment, and, and like some yeah, of the other. Yeah, if you're in a hurry, you, you want to crank up your speed. It's like you only have yeah. three weeks or four weeks to do something. You want to go as fast as Reasonably fast. The faster you go, the worse quality you'll have up to a certain point. Uh, yeah. Certain you know printers are designed for high speed, like yeah. um, Core XY machines. And that rat rig, that. We have a yeah. few people in chat that have rat rigs. I guess they do good. The Volron, I hear, is real nice. Uh, you know, it depends what you have. I have a Ziltec Hypercube here, 445, corner by corner by 500. I haven't used it in a while. Um, need to do a few things to it, but I don't know. I just got too many printers. Hey, no I'm such thing, Gary. Mods. Hello, how you doing? There's no such thing as too many printers. I'm sorry. Yeah. Well, I sold, no I sold my Tebow Tarantula Pro and two of my Enders. One was 500 millimeters tall. I sold those three to one uh, lady on Facebook Marketplace. I've got two more Enders here on the 
three more enders I'm looking at on the floor. I've got to make sure they're working properly. Then I'll put them up for sale probably. I just don't need them. Yeah, well, they all have our own preferences, what type of, whether we like the, the, the box style printers or the normal Cartesian style. So Yeah, everybody go check out the focus group over on uh, YouTube uh, or on Facebook. You can Google it on Facebook or just there's a link down below. Go join the community. Help them grow. Yeah. Actually, they have us, don't they? I believe, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, though, I believe, don't you have a giveaway coming up if you can reach a certain number in your group at the moment? You're aiming for a certain number of people in the group, so, and there's a giveaway coming afterwards. Who, me? No, Dora does. Oh. In the user group. What I don't like that companies do on live streams, a lot of companies will try to throw out a keyword or ask a real technical question on something. The first person, person that gets it right, based on where they're watching from, they give it away to that person. They should spin a wheel, make it completely random, that way, there's no confusion on did the guy on YouTube win it, the guy on Facebook win it, who won what. If you're going to have a giveaway, any company that's watching, simply have a wheel of names or StreamYard's giveaway thing that we're going to be using here in a little bit. Do something like that. Let people enter, spin the wheel. It's totally random. That's, I think I think the best way to handle it. Yeah, that are are, are, are some are used the uh, Google Docs works as well for the same same setup. Yeah, make a Google Doc. People yeah. fill it out with their information. You throw them up on the wheel. You copy paste. It works great. Yeah. Today I'm using Streamyard, but yeah, the wheel works fine. But yeah, they shouldn't have to answer certain questions and who answers it first. Just enter everybody in it, make it fair, spin it, draw it. That's my um, opinion. If that's to the focus group, I'm not sure what the numbers are, but I believe they have. The, if you join the group, you can see it. Hey, Daniel, how are you? Hey, how's it going, Daniel? Yeah, Daniel's yeah, about time busy, you showed your face. Work. He works, I believe, for Disney World, and I messaged him recently. So I, haven't, I haven't seen him post online. Thank you very much for dropping in. Hey, he's Ken, been very busy. Daniel's been busy in the in the. He's been um, chatting a lot in the focus user group. He spends a lot of time in there. Oh, well, I'm a new member now, Daniel. So I just joined the other day. So you'll see my uh, whatever I'm printing or whatever pop up in there more often. Yeah. No, but the user community over there is, is very active. It's 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 it's, a, it's, a, it's a, an active group. Um, and Dora, is, who's actually in chat, who's with Focus, she's actually um, very active in the group all the time. Now, so the stool holder, the metal bracket is fine. Now you turn in the plastic arm, which is very narrow, and lock it. It doesn't lock because It'll turn a quarter, turn lock. If you turn a little bit more, it'll unlock. So I don't really like the way that's set up. Maybe it needs to be a little bit bigger. I have a nut on the back like Crowley does in a lot of machines. You stick it in, you tighten up the nut. That way there's no way that arm can come off. That might be one improvement. Yeah, or if you or have an end stop, so when you turn it, it's, it's, there's a there's a little lip, so it actually it stops. It doesn't keep going. Yeah, when they get 100,000 subs, they're going to give away another printer like this. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, Facebook user, I don't know who you are because you're, you're showing up as Facebook user. If you go on to YouTube, your name will show up or you have to click the give permission to Facebook to show your information. Yeah, on Facebook, on top of most of these posts that you're watching, it has a line, a bottom, it has a URL to let uh, hey, non -fam. allow Facebook and StreamYard to talk to each other. Then your name will mm -hmm. show up in chat. Then yeah, we have so a giveaway. You can you'll be able to enter. There's 40 people in chat right now, awesome. so if everyone makes sure that you click the thumbs up, Not so you like, Andrew, subscribe, and hit that like bell. Me. Yeah, I'm seeing them screen now. I'm looking at my screen. Hello, non fam Andreas, uh, old Smudgeon Maker Viking Kit. Hey Maker, hi hey, Thomas. Tripod Garage, uh, Sandik, 1771. Mika, he's been here for a while. Keep typing, guys. I'll keep reading. Thank you very much for joining. Please hit the thumbs up, subscribe. I'd appreciate it. Help my channel grow. Thumbs up or thumbs down. Everything helps. Well, we prefer more thumbs up, but yeah, they all help. <laughs> oh, so, here's that. Let me show you that really cool sign real quick that Andrew S. made for me and I printed out. Sure. You see it right oh, there? Oh, yeah. You try to get, get, can you get closer? Because the light is bright. It's kind of okay. washing yeah, out can, a little bit. It's only 10 inches in diameter. I need to make it bigger and print out a different filament, but it's got LEDs in it. Andrew S. is going to be making these and selling them. I'm not sure where, but he's going to be making them and selling them with different logos in them. That's really nice. So. 
<laughs> Please was after lurking. It's and if you haven't seen my... the screen, there's what we're printing right there, guys. It's a it's a bust of Shia LaBeouf. Why I don't know, but it is just what they put on the SD card. It was a good. It's one of this yeah. one they pre sliced. Yeah, I thought about doing a bench sheet, but I'm trying to you know get the print done quick sooner than later. So. Yeah. yeah, I really appreciate every stop in it. And thank you very much for the super chats and stickers. I really appreciate that. Yeah, like I say, mm. the only thing loud on this is a fan, but it's not annoying. It doesn't bother me. It's not that loud. No, it's just air pressure is what you're hearing because you just fan itself is quiet. The background are making more noise. I'm yeah. Going to CR 10 running, it's making noise. Oh, that's what it was. I wonder what that flash of light was. My light strip I have up here on my shelf. It's got like one that has a bad connection on one of the strips. So I took a paper clip and I put on it to kind of pinch it together. I've got to mend it. And that's why those went off. I was wondering what oh, Brian, that's a really bad dad's joke. That you didn't shy away from printing. <laughs> yeah, a lot yeah, of times Brian, in chat, when I wake up in the morning, guys, and you're on chat, and I say hi to everyone. And people are tagging me. I'm usually on my cell phone watching on my big TV set. And it's really hard to tag on a phone. So I just say, hi, everybody. And then when I go to a computer, you start seeing me tagging. That's from now I'm at my computer. Uh, um, I would love to see a, a large print volume version of this machine and to see how it comes out. Liam, what's the name of your Facebook group? Go ahead and plug that. If you, if you oh, my, in my I have two. I have two Facebook One is... 3D print help desk and the other is 3D printing addicts. Um, uh, 3D printing help desk has got the, the higher number of users, uh, and it's 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 busy-ish. Uh, it's growing, you know, it's over a thousand members. It's it's growing, um, but I I I don't push for numbers. I rather I rather give people what they want, and I, I I'm not a It'd be nice to reach a thousand subscribers on my channel and stuff, but if I get there, I get there. I, I, that's not that important. Yeah, to, everybody to needs to at least get monetized. That way, you'll have commercials and people can donate to you through Super Chat. And the only thing bad about Super Chat is YouTube keeps thirty uh, percent of it. But if you make over a hundred dollars a month, you get paid monthly. And if you don't make over a hundred dollars a month, you have to wait till you do, and then you get paid. That's why it's always best if you want to go Good through night, PayPal. Joe. That way, the money goes directly to them through PayPal. I need a nap. Yeah, Jerry Nap, my last name. <laughs> when I was a kid, in seventh grade, they had like a, a thing where you stand in front of the class and you try to sell something. I had the Jerry Nap sack. So anyway. That's a, that's actually that's a good play on words, actually. So <laughs> um it how fast is it printing? This is a test file, so I'm guessing 50 or 60 millimeters is what it's doing right now. Um, but it's a, it's a test file, so Jerry didn't it wasn't sliced. By, Jer by Jerry on stream. Yeah, I had files on here. It's got like five or six files. And if you don't like the yellow fan shroud, you can reprint one any color you want. The fan shroud and the duck is on the card. You can reprint it if you want, if you don't like yellow. You know, Shayla Buff, it kind of reminds me, this printer is like a transformer. You tilt it up, you put in four bolts. It's got a yellow cap like Bundlebee. Maybe that's why it's got the bust of Shayla Buff on here. It's a kind of... Sync with the maybe, movie. yeah, it could uh, be. Yeah. A transformer, it transforms real quick. Maybe that's why what well, that's all about. So it transforms real quick. And like I say, take out four bolts, fold it up, throw it in your backpack or your suitcase, get on a plane, go to Murph, grandma's house, wherever, set up the printer, keep printing. You don't have to be away from your hobby. Yeah, it is. It, it, yeah, it's, like as I said, I don't, um, I'm not a big fan of small printers, but I like this one. Um, it prints really well. I, I haven't had any problems with it, and I have had I have mine about a few months, and it's it's just printing all the time. I like it's, that it's got dual axis, dual lead screws. That's real nice on it. You don't have to worry about the gantry drop on the one side. It's got dual lead screws on it. Agreed. Hey, D. Wit, how you doing, buddy? Yeah, Tim won't be streaming Sunday. I believe he's going somewhere. His wife's treating him somewhere. Gonna take him out in the middle of the ocean, give him some concrete boots, maybe. <laughs> I'm not sure. After 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 spending every Sunday every Sunday doing the rat rig, maybe. 
Yeah, Jason, I randomly ordered one of those two uh, laser boards I sent you last night. I figured like, any, 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 I tried not to order the one you said don't buy. I bought the other one. So I'll be coming in a couple days. I'll see if I can get that diode laser. My do it yourself laser up and running. Yeah, Tim, <laughs> uh, Dean Witness and Chad, I was trying to focus this camera and it's got the light button, the plus and the minus to turn on the light, but I wasn't really getting to refocusing. Yeah. And then I had some lights in the background when I'm doing my octo laps. I turned them off so you see the white better. So. Then if I want to change cameras, we got full screen. We got <laughs> just that one, or then we got both. They're giving Tripod a hard time in chat now. Daniel is. <laughs> yeah, Tripod, guys. Go subscribe. Check out his channel. He just came out with a great video. He does great videos all the time. And he takes forever to uh, get them edited. He puts a lot of time in editing. And, you know, always leave a comment. Give a thumbs up. Because when people make videos, it takes a long time to edit and do things. And, you know, he does a lot more work than I do on my videos. And I still spend four, five, six hours constantly editing. And then, uh, you know, if I don't, and then, you know, printing stuff okay. all week long. And it takes a long time to make they're, videos. They're, um, they're available right now, uh, right today at, at $70 off. But tomorrow from 6 a.m. Pacific to 6 p.m. Pacific, you can get them tomorrow. There's a limited supply at two nineteen ninety nine right now they're three fifty nine ninety nine for seventy dollar off coupon you can check on Amazon USA and like it says tomorrow they're two nineteen ninety nine but we don't know how many they have first come first serve but yeah so far so good I see no reason not to buy it if you want a small printer I see no reason not to and it's very mobile you take out full screws fold it down put it back in the fancy box that came in with some packing or a little suitcase take it on a plane. But yeah, yeah. Check this box out. This looks like something you find at Home Depot or Lowe's or Walmart. It has all the information on the box. It's got a carrying handle, so you don't have to put it in the shopping cart. It's really cool. And they're filming. Like I was mentioned earlier, if you guys didn't see it, their filament mm -hmm. even has a plastic window. So you put your filament back here, the desk get packed, close it up. Sure, air is going to get in, but it does have a viewing window that has plastic in it. So less air is going to get in, less dirt, debris, dust, whatever. But you can see what color you got on the shelf if you want to keep it in the box. Uh, and then it has a paperwork in it that explains all their tons of settings on filament and resins. And it's got like a column of 20 different things talking about different settings for this and that. And I have never seen that with another filament company. That well, for, the, for its price, given the choice between this, and it's the same build volume as an Ender 3, I would choose this over an Ender 3. Because of its features that it has and then it doesn't have. Film a run out sensor, direct drive, volcano style hot end, dual lead screws, 32 bit board, uh, 2209 steppers, I believe. Uh, 2208s. cables on it. We've confirmed the 2208s. Okay. Well, I read, I seen one video somebody did. They said they're 2209. So they're one or the other. Hmm. The needle comes in a little test tube, not a piece of foam. It's got your standard toolkit, little tools, couple extra parts. Um, yeah. Hey, Mike, how are you? Hey, Mike, how you doing? Good to see you. Yeah, the, 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 this is a nice little machine. Um, it prints very well. Uh, I, as I said, I've been using one for a few months. I haven't had, I haven't find any any print issues with it this is the type of print you get with this machine you can't really fault that right print quality is excellent off that machine go ahead and switch screen if you want there i know i just want to show them just while we're chatting i think people are more interested in the print as it's going but uh, showing examples of what it can do. On uh, Liam's Hangout, that's on Wednesday night, uh, 7 p.m. Central? Uh, 7 p.m. Uh, East. Okay, and then 5 p.m. Pacific. Uh, I showed a lot of his prints, and he was on my Hangout last week. But then on Saturday, I showed a lot of his prints. He's done, like, I don't know how many hundred you already have done, but you got a long way to go up from what you told me. 800. Okay. It's a lot of toys. Yeah. You're going to have to grow a beard. What? Uh, no, no. What I want to do is, uh, you already have the beard, Jerry. We just need to get you the red suit. Yeah. 
Well, you know, I'm thinking, I'm, my wife will be happy if she's still watching. I'm thinking about growing it back for winter. And the next year, and it warms up, I'll take it off in the winter. Wait, now you live in Vegas. There's no such thing as winter. Well, I mean, it's, <laughs> well, it's, it gets chilly for a while, but you know, you can almost wear shorts here year round. Well, there's people in Michigan where I am who wear shorts all year round, even when it's negative 36. Wow. <laughs> So yeah, the, 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 I like I see people out with shorts and t-shirts. Um, his name on the front, A S H I A yeah. on the front of it. Shia, yeah. We're in the home stretch. It the does snow in Vegas for about thirty seconds, and it disappears again. Yeah, Vegas doesn't. You, you don't get. You, you, Vegas doesn't know what snow is. Yeah, you Jason lives on the south side of town, closer to the mountain. So when it does snow. He probably gets a lot of snow. And in some parts of, of uh, Green Valley or uh, Anthem, I'm not sure which one he's in out that way, there'll be snow on one side of the street, not on the other side of the street. But, yeah, it does get quite a bit of snow on the outskirts of Vegas. I live on the northeast side of town. We never get snow up here on Sunrise Mountain. I'm yeah, but, fairly close to Lake Mead. The yeah, lake. I, well, no, I can get a foot of snow overnight. Hey, Carl so. Benton, how you doing? Hey, Ron. It's not, well, that's only the base run. It has to do the bus part of it yet, so it's got yeah, a, my, a while to go, yes. When my wife's uh, mother-in-law came out here, she was, oh, my God, a mountain. And she just wanted me to stop so she could look at it. She lives in Texas. It's flat. And, yeah, we have a giant mountain outside. Because. But I've been here since I've been five years old, so it's just a mountain. It don't mean nothing to me. But some people are like, wow, they live somewhere where it's all flat and they can't see mountains. You know, yeah. they, and they do this any direction. There's no mountains anywhere. Yeah, if you're in like places like, like like Nebraska and so on, all you see is um is uh, windmills. Yeah, or corn. Wind turbines. Yeah. I was born in uh, Lincoln, Nebraska. Moved here when I was five years old, and I'm 57 now. I'm gonna live to be 100, at least. So my my 3D HP will be around for a very long time. Hey, Ron. So, yeah, the print is looking really good so far, what we can see. No, it's, it's getting ready to start doing the bus part of it now because yeah. it's doing the, the top surface layers around the edges. I'm in Omaha. I live to 103. <laughs> yeah, so, the only thing I'll do is I'll re-level the bed once the print's done and I'm off, off, uh, off air here. I'll go around and I'll paper test and recheck my level because even though I adjusted it with the wheels, I want to make sure they're all four the same. The uh, so does anyone have any questions about the printer? Any questions that you need answered or or uh, anything like that? Remember that the sale is tomorrow, U.S. only, and there's a the giveaway is at the end of the stream for five spools of filament, um, courtesy of Focus. Yes. White or red, your choice. White or red. So when you email me, let me know if you want white or red. PLA. Yeah, be nice. I've never printed their PLA before, but based on what I see out of the printer, the nice packaging on the box, all the paperwork in the box, I'm sure it's going to print great. But we'll see. Yeah. Well, we all well we all know there, there's a there's a there's a group of uh, manufacturers that do that actually. Do filament for all for everybody else. Anyway, that's how it's generally done. Oh, it's, it's, it's a sensible way of doing it. So, let's see what what is going on here. Oh, there you go, Tim. Reach out to Dora. It's not printing in midair. It's actually doing the top layers right now. Hey, Betty Booth, if you're still watching, thank you for the Dr. Pepper. Where's mine? She never yeah. brought me any. You know, I went to Walmart, and they're almost out of soda. She drinks uh, Dr. Pepper Zero, or she used to drink Coke Zero, but they're, like, out of soda. It's like, I don't know, they're out of a shortage, shortage on surf or something around the country. Hmm. I didn't know about that. Yeah, there's a lot of weird shortages going on at the moment. And then I went to the 99 cent store and I bought some snacks and I'm surprised they haven't put a sign in the window that says dollar 99 cent store. Everything else has went up in price. Why not them too, right? I haven't seen that happen in this area. 
Everything is overpriced. Um, oh, yeah. I, I, I know what I mean. I haven't seen, like, you said $1.99. Oh, it doesn't. Uh, I'm saying it'd be funny no. if they did. They said, if they because of what's going on, we're going to, everything gets jacked up, went up a dollar. Take care. Yeah, my wife's a dad traded in a truck that was only a few years old to buy an SUV, and he got more money for his trade than what he paid for when it was new because the prices have went up so high. Oh, yeah, it's gone crazy for you um, used vehicles. Yeah. Um, even new vehicles is hard. Like, um, There's a delay because of the chip shortage of getting new vehicles. So the, the used vehicle market has gone through the roof because of it, and they are selling for more than what they're worth. So um, yeah, they, they, it's case. way high right now. You're not welcome for the soda, okay. Well... <laughs> Your husband bought it, so I guess I can drink him as long as I replace it, right? Like, she buys gummy candies and things like that that I don't like. There are certain things she can buy that I'll never eat, you know. So. Yeah. Yeah, I know some guys who bought cars re or who bought used cars recently. Um, oh, five years old, all right. And it was through the roof. The, the price of them has gone really, really high. Every auto dealer out there is actually looking for new ones. She's typing on her phone. That's why some of her letters are crammed together there. It's yeah, hard. Yeah. I, I hate typing hard. on my phone, hitting the right keys, and you go to look at. Like I typed to you earlier on the on the computer, Liam, but the keyboard was over here and it looked like gibberish when you went to read it. When I PM people, sometimes I type gibberish. That's a mistake. I I type and hit enter, and I don't always look at what I type. Oh, you, you know, my, my I'm I'm worse for using. I like given my accent. Um, I use um, uh voice to text and uh -huh. google is pretty good at, at getting it fairly right but now and again it gets it has bad google has off days google voice does and it really gets them gets the the message totally wrong oh jason so you're going to ship it to jason to do the, the, the solo stream okay Oh, my glass bed is slightly off. It's rubbing on one side. I didn't have. Oh, it's not centered. No, you don't. No, let it run. No, I'm not going to touch it. Yeah. But I can see it's off because I was hearing a rubbing sound, and I can see it's slightly overhitting the frame. So oh. evidently, when I lined it up and put the clips on, I had it too far to one side. So be sure your glass bed is square, otherwise you'll rub it. And if you grab it while it's moving, you'll try to pull print. And people are going to say, well, "Where's the giveaway? Are you going to start printing all over again?" <laughs> 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 but yeah if you guys hear that little rub sound that's what's happening it either shifted over by itself or the clips i'm not sure i didn't hear it earlier but i definitely hear it now okay, Brian. so i don't know if it shifted by itself or if i just didn't line it up uh maybe uh maybe you didn't line it up because this the print is not showing any shift so i think it's the way you position it when you put first put it on it's just odd that i'm just now hearing it so it must have been really close and it barely crawled over so i wasn't hearing it rub up until just now yeah brian vines is leaving us he's he's hey brian I think he's, take care thank going. you for stopping by man appreciate it check out bb3d he has a great channel does videos every week he's very active on social media great guy yeah so my yeah but if you look at the print jerry there's no layer there's no shifting on the print so it didn't happen during the print okay Yeah, and I'll have follow-up videos on this. It won't be live streams, but I'll be printing some stuff. And anything I might, if I run into any issues, I'll talk about it in a video or what I do to fix it if it should happen. And I'll print up some stuff and, you know, go on about it. So I'll have more more videos. Yeah. No, as I said, I've been using it a lot. And I haven't, like, its print quality is good. I don't have any problems with it. And I had, didn't have to do any fine-tuning. I did temperature towers to be sure I, did, I was optimal temperatures. I did retraction settings before my to get my slicing settings right, but that's it. And it prints great. I've been in the hobby for about five years now. I've never done a temp tower once, and it took me three years to finally do a bench. I just I often do temp and towers. And it just usually works. Yeah, well, I often do temp towers on machines I've never used before. If it's a new machine, uh, to get the optimal settings, or um, if I'm trying new materials, I, I would do a test. 
on that material to get the optimal settings. But um, I but I tend to stick with certain manufacturers on materials, so I know that I, and the settings that never really changed for me. Yeah, I'll do a video and I'll test the filament runout sensor. I'm not going to cut it now and see if it spits itself out and ask for uh, filament makes a beep or whatever. Else. It doesn't spit it out. It doesn't spit it out because the filament runout is actually right in the extruder itself. Okay. But it does pause to print, and, and then you can feed in new material uh, using the menus on the screen. Okay, so you don't remove what's there. You just add more. You just add behind it, and, it, and then you hit resume, and then it goes off and starts printing again. Okay, cool. And it works. It works continuously. I, I've because I um I've been using um this printer recently. I have some ender spools that I, I don't are not big enough for large prints, and I've been doing smaller prints in it, and I run it till right till the uh, the last the complete end of the filament is down inside the extruder. It'll pause. I'll, line, I'll set off the next one. Now I don't manually push it. I use the menu to push to to feed it. Yeah. And I hit resume, and it just goes back, and it doesn't. You don't even see it, any layering or anything when it does it. Um, I'm sure I have samples of that if you want me to pull in a sample to show you of some where the, la where the layers were changed. Build a Voron. Um, I haven't. I, I, I have a tendency to be more interested in the rat rig than the Voron, personally. I don't know. I, I would like If someone wanted me to build a Voron kit, I, I would, but I, I'd have more of an interest in the rat rig because the volume is so large. Oh, yeah, and a shout-out to Tim from TH3D. He popped in on my live stream uh, last Saturday. I didn't notice it, but he gave me $10 on PayPal. So thank you very much, Tim, for the $10. I really appreciate it. Um, I, I'm not sure if they have their own slicer. I think they use Cura. They have profiles for Cura. I don't believe they use their own slicer. And I don't see there's a need for any manufacturer to have their own personal slicer because... You have really good slicers out there. Just build a profile for it and yeah, use and then, it. And then supply it with the machine for somebody that doesn't already have one. Yeah. At least they have something to start with. And they don't have to go and figure out where to – maybe they're not on Facebook. Maybe they're not on Twitter. Maybe they don't know where to get it. So at least it comes with something. You get them up and running. Um, the rat rig, because of its print volume, the 500 by 500 print volume, I like. That's why I'd be more interested in the rat rig. Um, the Vorin is a, is a self-paced build-your-own kit. Whereas the rat rig comes developed as a kit and everything's there. You don't have to pick and choose parts and have to hunt down parts. I think the rat rig is open source and you can print all your parts if you wanted to. Am I correct, yes. Jason? It I is. I think it's completely open source too if you want to. You can download the files from their site and then go get your own um, extrusions and stuff cut. Yeah. Yes, yeah you okay. can. The shipping is so high right now. It's crazy. Yeah. The and they, they ship out of Portugal. So, um, but... I like the large print volume on it, um, and you don't have to go hunting for parts like you would have with, with a Voron kit. You have to go seek out your own parts. They just deliver everything in a kit if you go to a pre-made kit, and then or you can go to the kit <laughs> and then tweak it. Look at Tripod's comment there because I'm a big fan of Shy. Yeah. Book a century days with the printer with Shell above from this, or, because Jerry's a big fan. <laughs> now your secret's out, Jerry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, Sam Prentice is always saying his phone rang. He's playing Bruno Mars. So I changed it to uh, what am I playing now? Metallica or something now? ACDC. Yeah, I like all kinds of music. I mean, I'm 57 years old, but I'm not an old fogey. Oh. I like music. I like all kinds of everything. I and think, um, Jerry, you. I think uh, Dora uh, posted a link. You'll have to approve. Anybody uh, in chat? I got a lot of mods here. Can approve it? I don't see it. Yeah, uh, I'm not in uh, on uh, YouTube, so yeah. If you're on YouTube, you're a mod. You can, you know, they, they're there. They'll take care of it. If the wrong thing comes in, they can boot the person or approve the comment. I've got Nightbot running also. Yeah. So the um, but I I like there are some really good slicers out there. I don't. I really don't see a, a need for a Irving, company awesome. to um, do their own um, oh you got your focus too. nice yeah I don't see a need to have your own personal slicer or rebrand Cura because it's open source as your own slicer just give good profiles for different material types 
That's yeah, all you have to do. That rubbing might affect the print quality here, folks, because it, it randomly is making the noise where it's rubbing the glass on one side. So we'll see how it comes out. But if there's anything wrong with the print quality, it's going to be because of that rubbing. And like I said, I can't fix it because even if I could, it's going to shift everything over. Yeah, but no, no, let it run and then you move it out when it move it for your next print when you're doing yeah, it. Yeah, I will. Yeah. And one thing about these printers that uh, some, some printers do it, most don't, is that there was a sheet you had to peel off underneath the build surface. So when you take off the clips, you pick up the build surface, you peel off the plastic, there's one underneath it. So be sure you peel off the second one. You don't want to bake it in there. Um, be sure you remove it. There, you know, Jerry has the bed. He didn't put the bed on correctly. And it, and it, the glass is rubbing the frame a little bit. Um, yeah, because there's not off. enough of the play in the sides. That's what there's, it is. There's four matter of clips that you pop in by hand, and I had the bed slightly over, and it's rubbing where up, yeah. up against the uprights. Yeah, so it's just a the placement of the glass bed when you put it on is causing that. It's, it, if you just, if you put it on correctly, uh, and like exactly over the build area, it, it, that the, won't be the an issue. The extrusion in the back has the channels like normal on the on the front. Both of them are completely smooth. There's no channels on the front. Then you got the ribbon cable here that's taped on that runs down the side. Stepper motor has a nice cover over top of it. Power on and off is in the back. It has a fan on the rear of the case. Yeah, and it's not that loud of a printer. Like um, as I said, the only thing you hear is the, the air moving. So the, air, the fan, yeah, yeah. Actually, when you take the hot in the part, if you do, if you do, and you turn it on, you don't hear the fans. They actually are quiet. Okay. So they're they're really quiet. So um, it's actually air moving through the system to cool it is what you what you're hearing. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah. Oh yeah, the three uh, D fuse, that one. Yeah, the, and. So, Dora, you probably see from the chat, there's a lot of people talking about large printers. There is a need in the community for large, good quality, high-speed large printers, like the Voron or like the Rat Rig. Yeah, 500. Very large, 500, 500 build, build, 450, 500 build areas. So, there, there is a need, there is a, um, a demand out there in the community for, for large printers like that. So, make sure you take that back to your engineering. Um, it's people who are who are really into 3D printing, um, like Jerry, like myself, like a couple of, and like a, a couple of people in chat, like Jason and so on. They're the people who are experienced in 3D printing have a, a demand, have a need for large machines. And then resin printers, I have a small Elgu Mars. I've got two mid-size, one's a Frozen Mighty 4K and then an Anticubic uh, Photon Mono X. And between the Photon and the Anticubic, I print more on the Anticubic. And my time lapse that I set up my DSLR and I've got a cable I bought from Uncle Jesse and Andrew Sink called a resin lapse cable. And I hooked it up to DSLR. And every time it comes down to print another layer, the UV light comes on, it triggers the camera, takes a picture. So once a print is done, I got like five or 600 pictures. I throw it in DaVinci Resolve. It automatically converts them to a video. And then I just set how fast I want it to come up out of the resin and grow. I adjust the speed. Then I find um Tripod, it's printing um, Jerry's man crush. <laughs> no, no. Yeah, that's Shay, <laughs> Shay, what's his name? He played in Transformers. Yeah, Shia LaBeouf. It's, it's Shia, Shia, LaBeouf. Shia LaBeouf. Yeah, yeah, that's what it's printing. That was the smallest thing on that street card. I thought about doing a bench but then the stream will be longer. And door, regarding what we said, what I said a while ago, they are already working on designing a larger printer. So it's good to hear, because there is. As I said, new people to 3D printing won't buy really big printers. But and those the only thing, the like I don't, the only thing on this I don't like is the spool holder. It needs to be a bigger spool holder. The shaft that comes out, you put the spool on and have a nut on the back that locks. Because if you turn this a quarter turn, it locks, turn a little bit more, it'll come back off. So it needs to have a nut on the back side and be a little bit longer, larger. But other than that, so I have no issues so far. So it's a shy of a bust. Jason, your your punter is bad as Brian Vines. <laughs> it's the only printer I've seen so far that's got this really fancy box like you would find Home Depot, Lowe's, Walmart, anywhere. You pick it up, it's got a carrying handle. I've never seen a printer like this before. I mean, this could wind up in any store. Just take it home, fold it up, and put in some screws in your print in like 10 minutes. 
you know, you don't have to put the whole thing together. Very cool. Yeah. So I, I will not throw this box away. This is why I will actually keep this. Most boxes, after the printer works fine, I get rid of the box. This I will keep. Nice looking box. And then well, someday, no. someday if I have a belt printer, I might keep a, you know that box too. I don't know. Well, um, well, Jerry, you you've seen my you've been on my live unboxings, and um, as soon as it comes out of the box, I throw the box aside, and as soon as the stream is over, that goes straight into recycling. Yeah, I don't keep them at all. Well, when I picked up the anti-cubic viper from a man yesterday across town, he didn't have the box anymore. He got rid of it, so I got this symbol of printer, and it has some issues. I have to go through and figure out what's wrong with it, and I'll do some videos on it. Yeah, that, that's different, like, but. Um, I, I generally don't. I, mine goes straight into recycling. Yeah, I wait just in case there's something wrong. I need to box them back up for a return or whatever. I wait a little bit on anything. I don't throw everything out immediately. A sculptor. Um, that that's they're the they're the lasers. The sculptors are the lasers, correct? Um, I've been talking with those guys recently. Yeah, six months. Yeah. And then you never know Christmas time. You know, you could wrap up a little tiny gift in a big printer box and somebody will freak out. You got me a printer? Yeah, open it up. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You're cruel. <laughs> yeah. Well, my son finally got a, a package for his wife last year and he had like 15 boxes. Each one of them was wrapped inside of another box. Oh. That must have took a really long time to wrap up one, put it in a bigger box, wrap it, bigger box, bigger box, bigger box. Yeah, uh, D uh, Davis, I agree. It, it is a good machine. Yeah, the only reason I can figure he's on the model, the printer is kind of like a transformer. You tilt it up, put four screws in. It's got a yellow hot end like, uh, uh, what's his name? Yellow car. Uh, oh, uh, Bumblebee. Bumblebee. Also, I was, was going to say speed buggy, but that's a cartoon. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that's why I think that's on there. I don't know. Maybe, maybe that. Maybe they figure they kind of go together. I don't know. Yeah, I generally don't return printers. If, if there's something wrong with it, I just fix it. Yeah. Oh, the yeah, sculptor. Yeah. Wasn't the sculptor that um that um orbital, that polar printer? That Yeah, I now I remember the sculptor. It's that polar printer. Yeah, oh, no, I have not been speaking to those guys. Wasn't it D with Tim that posted a picture on their printer? The little PTFE has a special fitting on it. And they said you got to order from us. And they want 50 bucks for it. And it's about an inch long. That wasn't the sculptor. That was his um atom stack. Um, That's crazy. That's his new Adam stack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, time to take that all apart and remodel it with something different. Yeah. It's nice to have parts that are interchangeable on a lot of printers where you can easily go to something you already have laying around or jump on Amazon to get parts, and you don't yeah. want to wait three weeks for it to come in the mail from overseas. It'd be nice if things that they know might go wrong are readily sold on Amazon. Because I'm a big Amazon supporter. I order from them every week. Jeff loves you then. <laughs> yeah, I love Amazon. And so much, you know, you can usually get stuff tomorrow, if not two days, on almost everything. Until, and that's set for that Congro laser head I ordered. I ordered it on a Saturday. It's supposed to be here Monday. Then Wednesday, they say it's lost. So I talked to them Thursday. They ship one out a week and a half after that. So, you know, it's, uh, sometimes there's problems, but usually not. Yeah. But generally, they, they, they normally do a really fast turnaround. Oh, the sculpt, though. Isn't that the one that Joel That's bought? the polar. He drove yeah. a million miles to get it, and it was a piece of crap. Yeah, that's, the, was, that's the polar was, printer, it was yeah. It worth like nine ninety nine, and that was it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I didn't, I didn't, that, didn't, that didn't make me impress me at all. That was about as bad as having a chocolate printer. Well, the chocolate printer, you can see if I need a use for. If you own a bakery and you actually want to make something for yeah, a if you made cakes it, for I mean... You're yeah. gonna me. I would eat the chocolate before it hit the machine. Yeah, well, yeah, but I'm just saying that the ch chocolate printer. If you are, if you like, eat, do um, like uh, are doing a lot of baking and stuff like that for for yeah. people's parties, like even though out of home is a home business, it's yeah. got an ideal solution for that, right? So, there is an application for that, but yeah, the sculptor didn't uh, didn't really have a uh, uh, an application. It was a it was a waste of time and money. Working on the almost on the neck here, working on the neck, and we got a big old little head. Yeah, it's working its way up. Yeah, and I don't, it doesn't need any supports. Um, so it, the overhang yeah. should be fine with it. With Octolabs that I'm using over here on my Kai Wu Max, I'm trying to find things to print without support so it'll look better. 
And then I sliced the file on S3D the other day, and the model started printing backwards, and I forgot that it homes to the, the back right, and I I forgot to spin around a simplified 3D. <laughs> So, anyone have any questions? Remember you, um, to like, subscribe. We have thirty-nine people watching right now. We've had we've been up to forty-two or forty-three, I believe. And any mods in chat, you want to plug your group? You're more than welcome to do so. Very welcome to plug yourself on my on my uh, channel. Everybody needs love. Everybody needs subscribers. You know, it's so much work making videos and content. We need all the subscribers we can get and comments, likes, thumbs up. So. Yeah. So, guys, the mods, please post your links. To your channels if you have a channel very welcome and then my hangout on saturday is the same with liam's it's for all makers whether it be laser uh, uh resin fdm painting anything down cnc you're all welcome to join in show your products ask your questions you know it's open to anybody and everybody and uh we can only have so many people on screen i think liam can have six i do six generally okay, yeah. i'm paying 25 a month i think i can have 10 but if you have too many people on screen, it's hard to talk. So me being the host, when I see somebody get frustrated and I can see that they don't want to talk, I kick them up in a corner and I make them big screen. That way they have the spotlight. And I, or sometimes I might even mute somebody if they're gabbing and I want another person to get to, you know, have a chance to say what they got to say. So. Okay. You know, some dude, you're taking over from Brian Vines with the bad puns. <laughs> There you go, Matt German, Tactical 3D over on our Facebook. Uh, Matt German does, or Jermaine, depending on who's watching, um, <laughs> he does tons and tons of litho paints. And yeah. he recently got a really cool uh, a Photon uh, uh, Mighty 4K, and he's been doing lithos on it. He does a lot of lithos. Yeah. And he has slowly got another model, so he's slowly doing other things. But, yeah, he has a lot of great work. Yeah. You know, I, I, I call him Matt the Lithophane King because – that's all he does, and he does phenomenal little things. Squirrel? <laughs> yeah, my dog popped his head up. What do you say? No, I didn't say kitty. Didn't Something say for kitty. me to chase? I didn't say kitty. I said squirrel. Yeah. Yeah, my dog will hear, they'll hear a noise on TV, and I tell them it's TV, and they go run outside to see where it came from. So they don't always understand me. You know, and people say, well, why do you talk to your animals? If you use the same words over and over and over, they know what that word means because a certain action happens and you say a certain thing. So they remember that. And actually, they can understand words now. They've actually said they can understand certain words and, and expressions. And then every time my wife goes to pop me in the head or choke me, which she's just teasing me, my, my one girl, Nikita, my one dog, she'll start growling at her or barking at her, getting upset about it. Someone has to defend you, Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> they do. Then that's how you train them. Yeah. Yeah. I thought about having my wife host this tonight, but, you know, Liam has this printer and he needs to get over a thousand subs. So it'd be perfect to have on screen. It's hard for me to carry a stream right now without having someone here with me because then I'm just talking to chat. So I think it's cool to have somebody online to bounce off each other. Just like yeah. with Tim, when I done the proofs of many, I had DWIT 3D on here, Tim. And then we can bounce off each other. So that's fun. The extra flexible flip flop. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I haven't seen any. I haven't seen a flip flop being drawn, but we've all seen. I, I tell you, you should do a video of all of the slaps upside the head and actually do them as a stream and put audio in the background. And we call it like. Um, Slap happy Jerry. I, or you know, every time I tape a video, I usually screw up my intro and then I retape it and retape it until I get it right. And I don't read off uh, teleprompters. That's why you hear me repeat myself so much in videos. I tape over multiple days and I might say the same thing two or three times and I try to cut it out. But I don't save my screw ups, my B roll or whatever. I don't save it and I should. That way I can just plaster it all together on my screw ups. So. Yeah, but you have the other ones on your live streams because on, on your wife, hangout. So my wife always says you're not exciting enough. He's more exciting. He's she's more exciting. You know, I said, yeah. Well, some things you can't be. Wow, check this out. You're just explaining what's going on. You can't always be exciting. Sponsor, see, sponsored by Vegemite. 
<laughs> I have a Core XY printer. I have a Ziltec uh, Core XY Hypercube. It's I, I don't have a Core XY at the moment. Yeah, yeah, I do. I'm an affiliate for Ziltec, so I got a really good deal on it. That's why I bought it. It was a kit. And one thing about Core XY printers, and I'm sure they're all that way, you get a box of parts, and guess what? Now figure it out. Sure, you might know the hobby, but then you have to go watch other people's videos. And when you do that, from video to video, people realize, oops, that don't go that way. In the next video, they change it. They might remember to tell you. They might forget. So by the time you get the video done or make the second printer, you'll have a better understanding where everything goes in what order. And, you know, they're fun. Just got to yeah. research how they go together, what goes first, what goes here, what goes there. Facebook groups, uh, you know. You and it helps to understand the mechanics of how they, of how they work. Yeah. Right? Because then you can actually piece stuff together yourself if you have, under, have an understanding. Like, if you've never done a Core XY before and you don't understand the way the belts operate, that can be really confusing, right? So it's all about knowing and, and having some understanding of the mechanics makes the assembly easier. Yeah, here's mine right here. You can see it in the camera, Core XY. And then I put this green strip all the way around with uh, NeoPixels in it, and I bought a little uh, thing off printed solid that, I can't think of his name, that made the part, and I bought it for printed Ooh. solid. And it's got a turbo, uh, it's got a big tree tech turbo 1.4. I never could get the NeoPixels to work like right. I got like 80 NeoPixels. And it's got its own power brick to run the power, so they should work, but I never could get them working right. Um, Rebuild Ginger, um, message me the details about, uh, um, the, about, what, about how that affected your build area and, and build volume on that printer, if at all. Um, I haven't looked at doing it. I have a 5+. plus. I haven't looked at doing it, but it would be that would be an interesting idea um, mod for me to do on, on my five plus. That's my I, I love that printer, by the way. That's a that's a that's a really nice printer. So uh, for for my it, it's my largest printer I have right now, and, I, and I, for a big printer it, it's my favorite. Um, but the, the the Focus is a really good machine for for um and and it's a smaller printer, uh, but. I do a lot of big prints, so the um, because I do a lot of big prints, the large volume printers are 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 a big thing for me. So you're getting there. Oh, you're coming up to the head now, Jerry. Get there. So what does it say on the on the UI? only like what 30 something percent pretty ridiculous but that can't be right yeah yeah but that's percentage of g-code so there's more detail in the head so there's a lot more there's more g-code commands according to that it's got a long way to go but i can see that it's getting ready to start the head yeah no but it does the head is the head is about is a, well, at least half to build volume yeah it shouldn't take too long we're all having fun here right i mean yeah. when i do a hangout on saturdays they're th anywhere from two to four hours long sometimes we go over and if things were fizzling and not much happening, then I do them for like two, two and a half hours. So, anyway. No, well, I've done four hours hangouts. But it was good conversation. That's why it was we, worth doing we it. We all rub off on each other. One person does it so long. If another guy comes on, he's got a lot of people in chat. And a few weeks ago, I, I felt really bad because uh, um, Sergio, HVAC, right when I ended the stream no. and I was closing the program, I see he popped in chat. And if he would have just done that a couple seconds sooner, I would have stayed on longer. But it happened right at the last second, right when I was getting off and Sergio was jumping in. Yeah, yeah, you you just you did end stream, and just as you did as that as it was shutting it down. Yeah, he popped in and says, "Hey, everyone." <laughs> yeah, a lot of times I stay after I get offline and chat with people, but usually people are like, "Well, I was going, I just can't find the button." So now I just tend to end them because people are usually they want to go and don't want to keep talking to me. They talk to me for three or four hours. You tend to want to you need a break. Yeah, so the chin will not draw and um, will not droop, um, kit. Um, it's designed to be print. This is designed to be printed without supports, and it's a pre-sliced file anyway. And if so, he's a stuck-up actor, his chin's going to be up a little bit anyway, so it should be fine. <laughs> <laughs> and we thought you were his fan, Jerry. Yeah. No, not really. I mean, I know who he is. Ooh, Com grows in here as well. Hey, Calm Girl, how's it going? I've got your diode laser. I bought your big laser off Amazon. I'm just trying to get it to work on my DIY setup. And I'm having 
the little control board I bought isn't one of yours. It's from another company. And I'm having issues with the board. I saw it a different one. And I'm trying to get it to work with Lightburn properly. I messaged your company about it. So, but right now it's all about the focus printer that we're working on today. Doing great. Cool. Looking good. Looking good. And we're going to have a big giveaway here in a little bit, guys. If you just dropped in near the end of the stream, when we get done with this little print that we're doing now, we're giving away five rolls of focus filament, white or red. It will be USA only. But if you live outside of the country, and you know somebody in the country that it can be sent to. I'll need their name, their address, phone number, and email. It can be sent directly to that person, but it's USA only for the five schools. So, and it's very cool. I haven't tried their filament other than I got the sample roll right here. But it's got a plastic filament window. So when you go to store this and put a desiccant pack and then close the box, sure, a little air will get in around the cracks, but at least it has a window and it's not wide open where dust, dirt, debris, or more air can get to the filament. And then they got a paper that comes in here called 3D printer filament. You open it up and look at all that. It's a huge document explaining all kinds of different settings for different types of filament and resins. And it goes into extreme detail. Well, that's pretty cool. So, pretty interesting. And I'll be doing a lot of follow-up videos and posts on social media with this white and red on this printer. So, I'm currently doing the same thing with my uh, Kaiwu uh, Max right now. And I've got some filming on it from... Uh, can't think of the name of the company. I'm sure somebody online will know what company it's from. I forget. Is it the um, the, is it the rainbow? Yeah, it's the rainbow and the pink. From Yusu. Yusu, yeah, Yusu. Yeah. That's it. Yeah, they do nice materials. It's printing really nice. It was a re some return filament they sent to me because somebody returned it to Amazon. Prints perfectly fine. So usually people return filament because they can't get the first layer down or they got the nozzle too close. It clogs on the extruder, and they go like, well, there's something wrong with the filament. No, it's usually, most of the time, it's operator error. It's something minor that a lot of people don't know. Just get your first layer right, and it's usually nothing wrong with the filament. There's a message for you, to you there on the screen from Comgirl. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Yeah, when I get the laser up and running with a different board, I'm doing more videos with that DIY laser that I put on my DIY setup. But I know that Comgirl, you're coming out with one. That's yeah. a whole unit. I would, if it's ever possible, I would love to test and review it. It's a complete unit they just posted today online. It's a new but, 400 by 400 with a 5.5 yeah. watt laser. Yeah. yeah. That'll give Otura a run for their money, I'm sure. Hey, non fam, how you doing, buddy? Yeah, because I like, uh, yeah, it'd be it'd be on par with the volume, with the, with the print volume and power of the laser. Um, I think they're also talking about offering a larger higher power because. You can go up to with a diode, a single diode, you can go up to seven watts output. And if you use two laser beams, you can go to um, 14 or almost 15 watts output um, on, the, on, the, on the laser heads. So, and if any of you companies watching, when I do a hangout on Saturday, you're always welcome to drop in. Spring from Anacubic has dropped in before. I've been yeah. on a G Tech live stream one time uh, a long time ago. And then, uh, you know, they, they, they lost connection and send Jen, they had problems with internet and they lost connection. So I had to carry the stream for about 15 minutes, but you know, I've been streaming for a very long time. I have no problem looking at the camera and talking to people. So yeah. Yeah. I yeah. Enjoy it. So, um, the, the chin, we got a chin going. Is it starting on the chin? It, it's yep. just getting there. Yeah. Seeing a chin now. It's probably another, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes, maybe. Uh, I'd say longer than that. I would say longer than that. But, um, who's there? Susu. Yeah, I thought the name uh, Dora was Fucos, is how I thought it was pronounced. And then Liam said, no, it's Focus. That's when I PM'd you and I sent you that uh, audio clip. You can click a thing on you, you PM somebody and you can actually talk and record yep. it. So then I asked her and she said, no, it's pronounced focus. So, okay. The, the reason why I know this is because I had this very same conversation with Dora when I was doing when I, before I did mine. Okay. <laughs> so <laughs> I think a lot of people do because the way it's, it's, it, it's spelled out. It, um, it's not how we would enunciate the word, you know? Yeah. So, and I didn't want to make sure I didn't want to say anything that would be, taken incorrectly 
And printers have bolts. They don't have screws. Those are bolts. If they're pointed, they're screws. If they're flat and they screw into another piece of metal, they're a bolt. Yep. But, you know, different people call them different things. So, yeah. Yeah, thank you very much, Dora, for dropping in. I really appreciate it. It's awesome. Love and have, I love having companies dropping in. We can chat with them. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, probably even my streams are the same. Is key. I went with K3D, but this team lately. Yeah, and I got my mouse and keyboard over here so I could kind of run chat, but I got Liam here, so he's magically making everything happen. So I really appreciate the help, Liam. It's auto magic, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, there's a link down below. Please go over to Focus and join the Facebook group. You know, they're trying to grow. K3D. When they get up to 100,000 subscrib, did she say 100,000? 100,000, I think. Yeah, when so. they get to 100,000, they're giving away a printer like this. Yeah, I do. Um, Dora, if you want to paste the link in there, um, do for the for the group. I um, I or maybe I can just let me just give me a second. Let me yeah, go. Yeah, you're to, on. Facebook. You can go to jump to a different screen and grab it. Yeah, let me go to I, it's Facebook. It's down below in the it. description. There's a link to this printer down below in the description and everything we're talking about. Ask for printer it should be down there also. If when this I go to when this video gets processed on YouTube, if there's something I missed, let me know and I'll put it in the comments. I'll put it in the description because sometimes I miss things. Yep, we got a chin now. It's going up good. Yeah, it's starting to get there. Very nice. Now, let me dig it out of my 5,000 groups I'm a member of because <laughs> when you do reviews and stuff like we do, like, you're a member of so many different groups. It's kind of hard to keep up. I have no way to organize my Facebook groups because you can only pin 10 on one side. And I'm a member of so many, I don't know how to put them in one place where I can just click on them and go there. Other than somebody posts and then I realize who posts in what group. It's kind of hard to keep track of. Yeah. Hey, so you already joined. Cool. Yeah, they're at 940 members right now. The official user group. So they're trying to breach a thousand. But I know they HC, are. See how you doing, buddy? So yeah, so yeah, go, like if you're interested in the printer, go join the group, um, and you'll find Dora will always be on there. Uh, like if you post messages up there. I call this a ghost that flew through a rainbow. Beautiful, huh? Yeah, it's lovely colors. Very nice. The layers were six four four. Well, see, I can't squeeze it. It's not. I didn't do a base mode. I don't ever do base mode. So, I mean, one time I did base mode with a giant print just for a video, the purpose of the video. But yeah, they came up really nice. They kind of like, remember Mr. Bill? Oh, no! From back in the day, if you're an older person, you got a milk Mr. Bill look on his face. My wife wanted this, so she put a light in it. Halloween, the light of eyes and mouth. That's a good idea. You have to do make it an LED so it won't melt the filament, yeah. Yeah, I've got these little LEDs that change colors. You just turn them, they turn on. Yeah, and yeah, that's yeah. It, so as Dora just said, there, if you have questions, post them in chat. We will um, either either we or Dora will answer the questions for you. Yeah. Um, Dora works at Focus, so uh, and she's uh, she's super active in their user group. So uh, if you ever have questions outside of this chat and you want to ask questions, post them in there in the, in the Focus user group. And Dora, if if a member of the community doesn't answer. Dora will actually come in and give you an answer to the question for you. And then my group on Facebook is 3D Printing and Painting, 3D HP, or you just type in 3D HP. My name on YouTube, when I would type in comments, you say 3D Printing and Painting, and it was taking too long a lot of times for people to uh, say it when they said hi to me or something, so I shortened it to 3D HP. And I 3D see. HP stands for 3D Hobby Projects. So anything that's hobby-related is covered under the word 3D HP. And if you blow in the description, the very first line, I made, excuse me, a designer that I know for a birthday present made the sign for me, which says 3D printing and painting 3D HP. The files were over on Thingiverse. For some reason, they're hard to Google and find them in a search engine, but the link is down below if you'd like to print this out, multicolors or whatever. It says 3D HP, 3D printing and painting. It's got my name on top. So if you want to print something like this out, link down below where you can do that. You know, if you want to print it out and put it underneath your truck tire, 
or your car tire, run it over and film it, throw it up online. You can do that too. Don't be giving me ideas, Jerry. Yeah. <laughs> so, Fish and Stitches, you're asking about BL Touch. There, if you go to the user group, there's information about how to um, for mods for the, uh, the BL Touch, and there is firmware out there as well that you can download that has BL Touch enabled in it. Yeah, hey, I really, I really really like the color screen. The color touch screen is, you know, it's decent, decent little size, but it shows yeah. you the model. That's really cool. Yeah, so there have been lots of mods to it out there. Go back and show you. It's really cool. It shows what you what you're, what you're printing, because there has been times where I've loaded up things in Octoprint and I've printed the wrong thing twice. Yeah. So, so you need to stop the you print. need to install the Wi-Fi plugin into Cura, and that's what gives you the the display feature. Hey, Red Light, how are you? Hey, Red Light, what's going on? Good to see you. We got a new focus printer here we're working on, Red Light. It uh, Right now, it's it's $359.99 on Amazon. There's a box you can check to get $70 off. Tomorrow, it's going to be $219.99 on Amazon. And there's a limited supply, not sure how many, but tomorrow it's going to have a great sale on it. You simply take it out of the fancy box, which looks like this, like something you see at Walmart or Home Depot. Take off the packing material, you scan it up, put in four bolts, throw on the filament sensor and print. You want to take it with you, take out the four bolts, take off the filament sensor, fold it down, throw it in your luggage, and you're good to go. But there's no reason to go on any kind of a trip or go visit your parents or anything without or grandma's house without taking your printer with you and printing something for them while you're there. Well, this print is the reason go, why this is the reason why I my one of my group is called 3D printing addicts. Because we're so addicted, we have to take printers with us everywhere we go. Yeah. <laughs> so this is a, so it's leaning into what you just said about the, about bringing your printer with you. If you're addicted to 3D printing, this is a good machine because you can transport it easily. Get a battery pack. Go to Sh uh, go to Walmart. Get on those little go kart things you drive around. Have your 3D printer in the back printing. Draw a lot of attention to yourself. You're shopping. You'd want um, somebody's video. Yeah, uh, uh, rebuilt. Message me Astro Printer, okay, on uh, Facebook. I want to learn more about what you've done. You can. It's easy to find me. It's Astro Printer. You can find me on Facebook, or you could find me posting in Jerry's um, group. I also do some po you posting in the Focus User Group. Um, well, if you name a printer. Chances are I'm a member of that user group of that printer of those printers anyway. So you'll find me out there. I'd like to learn more about what you what you've done and, and your setup. Or join my group and you can post it, you can post your details in, in that in that group if you wish. Because I my my groups are printer agnostic. I don't care who the manufacturer is, it's all about what you do, not what not what which manufacturer you're using. So we're getting up around the mouth, it looks like. What was that for? <laughs> we're getting there. Yeah, we're getting there. And like, even though the, you said that the bed was rubbing the, the, because you didn't have it properly aligned, yeah. you see, I don't see anything showing up in the print. Yeah. It's not, I don't hear the noise now. It, it kind of came and went. Yeah. So, any questions? Any um, anybody actually thinking about buying one of these tomorrow with a with a special price? I'm sure there's many people chat that have probably already bought them. Two twenty. If you have not, if you but, don't already have one, it's got dual dual Z's uh, um, direct drive hot end on it. Filament sensor on the hot end. Yeah, I, I see nothing wrong with it, and the price is great and even better tomorrow. And when it when it when it because the filament run out sensor is actually in built into the hot end. When the filament runs out, it doesn't try to retract it. It just stops and parks the head and keeps everything hot. So you just bring it over in the next piece of filament when in the park position, put it in, use the menu system to feed more filament in, and then clear, clean off whatever comes out of the nozzle, hit res and resume, and it just goes back and keeps printing. So there's no more pieces you have to pull out of the, uh, like that are left over or anything like that. It and just, the, bed stays uh, hot at, the bed stays hot during all this, right? 
Bed stays hot. The extruder stays hot through all okay. of this. Yes. It has to. So the bed don't. I mean, in other words, it could probably sit for days and wait on you when you just come back. As long as the bed's hot and the print don't release, whenever yeah. you get around to putting in filament, then it'll keep going. Yeah, and that's only a fir that's a firmware. And as Marlon right? firmware on an open source thirty two bit board. Hey, see, you um, you gonna buy one or did you already buy one? Which one? Hey, Ron, how you doing? Yeah, Ron, that video you did last week, we were live streaming. We were watching the whole time. You were trying to figure out your camera setup. We seen you. You just wasn't looking at chat, but we were watching you, Ron. Yeah. And then you dropped off. I don't know what you hit. You must hit the wrong button, and you dropped off. That's that's the fun of being live, isn't it? You do stuff like that. Yeah. <laughs> well, that happened to me. I went live on Facebook one time. I was like, "Where's my chat? Am I live? I don't. I couldn't find my chat." And I had that, I had that problem a while back. Yeah, it makes it interesting. Like, um, I've been on people some live streams where someone hit the live button and didn't realize it. And during, I can't remember who it was, but during the live stream, you saw, you see him walking up behind uh, in front of the camera with the vacuum cleaner vacuuming the floor. <laughs> it was a live stream. Just remember, and I probably shouldn't say this: don't pick your nose if you're in front of your camera. You never know who's watching. So, yeah. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, he had no idea he was live, Jerry. Yeah. That's why that was happening. He didn't even know he was on. He hit the button without realizing it. Oh, okay. I thought you done it on purpose. You're trying to figure out what was going on. This is the reason why in in um, on OBS, when I do my live unboxings, I use OBS, I have the option turned off to not auto go live. Yeah. Um, to prevent that from <laughs> that very thing from happening. Yeah, you look up your camera and the light's on, you're thinking, oh no, how long has that light been on? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so uh, it happened to me once. I hit it, and it, I, I realized it quickly, though. And after that, I turned the option off in OBS to make sure it never happened again. Because that's a problem when you schedule. Because when you schedule um, um, on YouTube, if you hit the go live and then you cancel it, it saves it, and you can't go back into that stream anymore. You know, based on the size of this printer, maybe that's why it's got a filament, a filament holder that's so small to make it kind of dainty and, you know, petite. Let's see if I got one here. I can unscrew it. I'll show you one from some other company. Does this uh, robot dude move after printing? Who's a robot dude? Oh, you want to buy one? Well, tomorrow's the right time. You get a really good deal tomorrow. Okay. See the... the Film it right out. You see the spool holder? Here's one from another major company. We can see the size difference here. There, you know, it's, it's quite a bit bigger in diameter. It's, it's uh, probably an inch and a half longer than my film when it came on school. Yeah. So, like, I do a lot of um, printing with two and a half kilo spools. They would not fit on that printer. I, I have to use one kilo spools in that machine. Um, yeah. the one, two and a half kilos will not fit because the spool holder is not big enough. It's not, and it's not beefy enough to take the weight. So, I had a TiVo printer years ago, and when you got it, the filament, the spool holder was on the SD card. And if you're new to printing, you don't have an extra filament holder, so you'd have to print it first, and you'd have to grab a, a broom handle or something, and you don't kind of make one. And then this one has a nut here. It just kind of it turns and locks. It doesn't screw all the way on. It just turns and locks oh. tight. So that's kind of nice. Well, that's their new mascot that they've been sharing, yeah. Oh, you know, uh, sometimes um, HC is good to ask for uh, forgiveness rather than permission. <laughs> it's a good deal. You don't get them very often, so it's a really good deal right now. You, he's got five printers. Okay, HC. Yeah, the printers that I have, okay, I sold three. I sold the Tebo Tarantula Pro, two enders, and then I had another ender for parts that I took a lot of parts out when I was doing my laser. And then I have three enders sitting on the floor. Um, one's a Pro, two are standard. I've got two original CR10s. One's in the enclosure I built. I've got a HyperCube 445 CR10 Max. I've got the Kaiwu Max they sent me recently. I've got my Prusa Mini up there that was bought by people in the community donated. Thank you very much. The Prusa Mini. Um, then my wife has a Delta FL Sun that she claimed when I got it. 
<laughs> and then I've got three resin printers and a K40. And then I got a CNC, mostly printed CNC that I built in the garage last year, but I've never finished it. Yeah, see, yeah, I have floor printers, so I had to set them somewhere. I took them off the kitchen table, our dining room table, and uh, I brought them in here and set them on the floor and kind of pushed them back out of the way. I need to make sure they're working 100% before I put them on Facebook group and sell them. Uh, Unity, yeah. Um, Unity, hello. It's a nice machine. Um, are you with uh, Focus or are you just part of the user groups or I've whatever? Seen, I think I've seen him or her. I can't tell. Her. Okay, her. I can't see the picture very well. Yeah. Um, I've seen him post on the group. Yeah, I've seen her. I've seen. I've seen her post in the group also. But um, yeah, I, like Jerry just listed out a whole litany of stuff, and I, I, I have. I'm probably in in a similar scenario. Um, and I got lots. I got a couple of different lasers, and I got CNC machines as well. So, because I, uh, I, I, I've done a lot of testing for other companies, like Jerry does a lot of stuff as well. So, yeah, we some have a variety of stuff. Some companies don't want to send to small streamers because oh, you don't have enough subs. There's well, well, Liam has what 500 subs, and he has almost more stuff than I do. But it depends on the person, the personality, their knowledge. There's a lot of other factors there. It isn't just how many subs do you have. Um, Creality sent me a uh, printer. I reviewed a CR10. Oh, I sold that one too. My Ender 3 V2, I sold that from Creality. I've got the Kairu Max they sent me. The Proof of Mini was bought by the community. Um, you know, I got many things that have been sent to me. I've released tons of filament, tons of resin. So it doesn't matter how big your channel is. It depends on the person. I have a lot of exposure on Facebook. Like I've printed three or four or 500 FDM prints. I've got hundreds of resin prints. Each and every one of these over the last four or five years, I've posted pictures on multiple groups on Facebook. And I used to be fairly popular from printing so much and posting. And now I don't do it so much. I ran out of room. I don't, I got too much stuff and I'm slowly trying to get rid of things. But yeah. Kieran, I, um, I don't, I don't have a problem. I use them all. So I don't have a problem. Um, well, Nobody has a problem in the hobby. You could be out drinking, hanging out at the bar, doing drugs. There's a lot of other things worse than hanging out at home, printing stuff. So, sure, your wife or your girlfriend, that might be all they ever hear about is 3D printing, but it's better than me being out at the bar drinking, wasting all my money, right? Well, that doesn't happen with me because I, I when I'm not 3D printing, I'm talking about science and stuff because I'm a nerd. So, yeah. um, and I do I do uh, outreach for NASA and stuff like that as well. So, um, so I, I'm not just only 3D printing. I, I do a I'm into lots of other different things but that's why we do our hangouts because then we share our, our our experiences with our other hobbies as well and the matrix just dropped a trailer today for the new movie liam's not interested but i think it's awesome they'll be out in december right around christmas there's go on facebook or other places there's a link to uh or on youtube even just type in the matrix it's got a really good trailer out there i've seen I'm all the matrix i'm a fan okay I thought you said you weren't interested. Maybe it's somebody else. Told me somebody that. else. Yeah, no, I like to make the Matrix series. Right. Yeah, yeah. I'm a big uh, sci-fi nerd buff. I like. I watch tons of TV. I don't watch TV, but I'm I, I'm uh, I'm uh, I'm a science nerd. So yeah. Yep, nose looks like the lower part of his nose is done. It's going good. Yeah, that rubbing sound came back. It's all right. Yeah, it's fine. It's, it's not affecting the prints, and, and all I have to do is the next time you just center the bed. So, yeah, I got to reprint that clock screen base. What happened on the Kaiwu Max? When I got it, it was a return, and I had to fix yeah. the printer. When I tied up the wires, I put a zip tie on the very top of the frame, not realizing that at some point when I'm doing an octo lapse, it has to park the nozzle up that high. It was hitting the head of the zip tie, and it caused two different layer shifts. So then I cut it off, and then I done the next print. So I need to reprint that from Fox Springs. Well, I've never had a layer shift in this machine ever, as long, and I've been using it for a few months. Um, so I, it's never. I said I got clogs, and that was my own stupidity, which I never said I was smart. So, <laughs> but um, yeah, tripods into drones, uh, 3D printing. Uh, uh, what else? Watching people redo his driveway. We do we do his right way again and again and again. He tends to have a, a lot of weather issues back there, earthquakes, tornadoes, floods, a lot of problems. So he has a lot, you know, the, the weather affects a lot of his prints. But he's got better lately. He hasn't got a failed print in a while. So I got to find somebody else to pick on now. 
Um, tripods got a lot better in the sprinting. Oh yeah. Um, uh, blah, 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 blah. James here in Vegas has had some trouble lately. So got a few issues. Everybody has trouble. Not everything prints perfect. If people say every print's always perfect, I've never had anything go wrong. That's not true. Everybody has problems. Sometimes all the printers print perfect, and then three or four weeks later, guess what? Now they all have an issue. It's always, you know, random things happen. Yeah, they do. Um, they, but the, if you're as long as you watch, the, this, most of the time mistakes happen at the beginning of a print. If you watch the first layers going down and they go down well, your, your chances are your print is going to do well, unless there's something either mechanically wrong or the spool wasn't properly put in place or there's knots in the spool or something gets snagged, that's when stuff goes bad, right? But if you get if you if you do well in the first couple of layers uh, successfully, chances are it's going to keep going successfully in most cases. And then whenever you change filament, always tie your filament up, uh, run it through the spool, put a piece of tape on it, whatever, so it don't get underneath itself. So my pink I had a little bit ago got up underneath itself somehow. I'm not sure when that happened, but when I got it, from Amazon, I rolled out probably 20 or 30 feet of it and checked it just to make sure it was good. It was wound tight, so I was just checking it. Oh, Dora's back. It says Ding Dora. I thought it was Dora Ding. Yeah. Okay. Looking good. And like I say, on the SD card, if you don't like the fan shroud, then the cooling duct, the way it looks yellow, you can reprint your own color, the files on the card. So that's nice. And the only thing I had to do to the printer is I had to adjust the eccentric nut on the hot end. I had to tighten that up with a little bit loose. That's no big deal. But that's gets, normal for every printer because stuff gets moved, gets loose during shipping, right? So every printer, you have to you, you just check to make sure the wheels sit right and so on. And you just tweak the eccentric nut. It's, it snugs it down and you're done. So that's normal for every single printer that you that you deal with. And then when I first turned on the printer, it didn't work. I'm like, huh? Oh yeah, I forgot to plug it in. So it's plugged <laughs> in the printer, but not in the power cord. Or not in yep. the extension cord on the floor. As I said, two ends both need to be connected. Yeah. <laughs> but the um, no, that looks that, that print looks good. What do you think? You got a better view than any of us. Yeah, it's looking good from here. I don't see anything wrong with it yet. All future prints that I slice, we'll see how those look because all test prints that come with all printers are usually, you know, they probably spend a lot of time making sure they look perfect and come out just right. But I'm sure it's going to print fine. But we'll see on all my future prints that I slice. With my settings, how they come out on this map. Yeah, so we're close. To, uh, it's just it's approaching the eyes now. So it's about I would say seventy percent done. Yeah, I'm trying to see. I don't think the screen is right, but here's what the screen says. It's it's blurry, Jerry. We can't read it. Yeah, that looks about seventy percent going by the green bar. 70 percent. No, it's blurry. It's fo okay. it's out of focus. The camera. It is. says it's a little over halfway, but he's a lot higher than that. So, and he's not wearing a hat or nothing. So, looking good. And if we go full screen, here I am. And check out this really big cool box you get. You get a cool box. Yeah, I love. Yeah, the box is nice. It's not a normal brown cardboard box. The yeah, um, stylish. You can. Print all of your benches and stuff. And you can put them, store them in the box, put them on the shelf. No, it, it does not have ABL, but there are the, the the firmware has already been compiled for ABL, and there is mods out there if you want to add an ABL to this printer. And there's even videos on if you go to the user group, uh, members have actually made videos on how to do the ABL um, uh, mod to the printer. So if you want to add an ABL, it's easy to do, and there's lots of instructions out there on how to do so. And here's what the filament looks like. We're going to be giving away. 
Now, I want you guys to see this paperwork here. It's pretty interesting. Oh, that's temperature settings and so on, and, and so on for that material. It's extremely detailed with all kinds of settings for anything and everything. Yeah. Cool. And then here, oh, I, don't, I haven't had any of their, any of their filament. I had the printer, but I haven't had any. I didn't get any spools of filament like you did. So I like the windows in the spool so you can actually see what filament is left. Let's see if you have a window right there. Yeah, no, I don't mean in that. I mean in the actual spool. There's a slot in the spool so you can see what, how much is remaining. Yeah, right there in the back. So you can see how much is left. Yeah, and more companies need to do that because you can't always look at the front and judge it yet. Yeah, it's difficult sometimes to know how much is left in this pool. Oh. So, Jerry, what would we, do you want to do? Um, do you want to do some of the giveaways now and then finish off at the end of the stream? Uh, yeah. Let me, uh... you know, maybe you can give away, if like you have five to give away, while we're waiting for the print, you could do two or three, two now and three at the end or something. Okay. Just a suggestion. Yeah, that's a great idea. Who's in favor of giving away a few spools right now? Everybody. <laughs> I think everyone's in favor of getting a spool of, trying to get their hands on a spool of filament. So remember that the giveaway is US only. Um, but if you if you outside the US you want to put your name in and you want to give it to somebody here in the States. Or if there's someone in the States who will just ship it overseas for you, you can do that, right? Um, you, but you just need to be able to relay the, the information to Jerry um, to make it happen. Okay, if you're in the USA um, and if you win, um, sometime this program will, uh, you know, when I redraw it, it doesn't take off the person's name, but we can only have one winner per stream. So, I mean, the same person can only win once. I got my keyboard in two different places here. Hey, they're in chat. The word USA One. Everybody that wants to be in on this uh, giveaway stream for filament, type in the word USA One. So it's 3D HP, Jerry. That's me. <laughs> yeah, uh, he's typing for me too. I'm not entered, but Liam can enter, and he it'll come up as my name. I'm not. Yeah. Entered. I'm just going to use for Toys for Tots, so that's where it's going, right? So, if yeah, my name does come up. Let me share the screen. Thanks, so everybody. What's going on here? So we have 39 people in, in chat right now, uh, uh, 40 people watching right now. So they're still typing, so hold on a while. Hold on a while. You want a chance to win, type it in once, don't repeat it, USA1. All one word, USA1. No spaces. So it's yes, 3D, good, very good. The USA1, no spaces. Got 23 entries. Uh, okay, so we're 23 entries, but we have 40 people watching live right now, so... Um, and I think they're all on. They're all on you on um, YouTube. We'll do three right now, and then two at the end after the film after the it's done. Um, and if you win, I'll give you my email. Contact me tonight or tomorrow. Don't wait a week from now to do it. That doesn't work too well. And now we'll contact Dora with your information. I need your your name, your address, uh, email address, and email me obviously, and I need your phone number. And also, guys, one entry, you only win once. So we're going to keep track of your names. If you enter, you can only win once. Yeah, this program doesn't kick out your name. So if you come up a second time, you only win once. And then Liam's going to write it down, and I'll write it down. So USA 1, type it in. You're going to win one roll of film, white or red. Please let me know if you win what you want. Andrew Osmond, awesome. Thank you very much for $5. Thank oh, you. cool. Very cool. 
I love donations. I'm on a fixed income, and every penny helps me keep my hobby going. Okay, we're going to give another minute. So, USA 1, we got 26 entries. We do free draws. If you're, like I say, if you're out of the country and you win and you want it, it has to go in country to somebody that you know. We not, they do not ship out of the country. And you have to be in chat to win. You have to be able to respond to your name. And if you contact me in a week or two and say, hey, I won two weeks ago. Well, you know, contact me today or tomorrow. Uh, email me. I'll leave my email in chat. It's also in the description right now. Yeah, so enter your name once. And you can only win once. Uh, USA only. Unless you want to give it to somebody in the U.S. from overseas. We're going to do three spools now and two at the end. Okay, here we go for the first draw. First draw, ready? ready? Are we ready? Yeah, hit ready it, Jerry. Ready? Here we go. Let's see who wins. Andrew. Andrew. Andrew, are you in the USA? And if you're not, do you know somebody that is you want to send it to? Congratulations. Congrats, Andrew. Let's see if he responds in chat. I know he's in chat. Yeah, Andrew, please um, make yourself known in chat. Just say hi or I'm here or whatever. He's here. He just left a comment. He gave me five dollars. Oh, okay. So Andrew just paid for his food of filament then. <laughs> uh, all cool. caps. Uh, type in my email, man. All caps. Jemath1 at yahoo.com, please. And throw that in sure. chat. So he can automatically see where to email me with his uh, information. And I need your phone number also. It's J E, isn't it? J, J E K N A P P, number one at yahoo.com. I always type all caps, so it's easier to read. I didn't do it all caps, but it's in there. Yeah, jnaplanetyahoo.com. Right yeah. here, guys. Just email me here with your information. And uh, Andrew, are you in the U.S.? And if not, we need a U.S. address for it to go to. So let's see what he says. Yeah, if not, we'll draw again. So if you're not in the U.S., uh, we'll ask them to somebody in the U.S. or we'll just redraw. So you tell me. Andrew, he's in, Andrew replied, he's in the USA. Awesome. Okay, here we go with the next one. And if you, you can only win once, so if his name comes up again, this program doesn't take names now. Yeah. Andrew S. is not in the U.S. Now, Andrew S., do you know somebody in the U.S. you want to send to? Or redraw, you tell me. Either yeah. redraw or uh, you can have it directed towards somebody, email me with their information. And their phone number. Yeah, no purchases are required to enter. <laughs> so, Andrew, are you there? And if so, are, uh, if you have someone in the States? Because I believe Andrew is in um, Canada, isn't he? No, he's over in, uh, in uh, uh, not, not Sweden, not Norway. I can't remember. He's going to get mad at me. Oh, Andrew just said you can give it to me for Toys for Tots. Okay, awesome. Take, Thank take you, Andrew. Of, take note of that, Liam. And then Liam yeah, I have it. Information, phone number. Here we go for the next draw. Kenneth DeSang. Are you in the U.S., Kenneth? Or do you know somebody in the U.S. where he wants this to go? Kenneth is saying, are you in the chat? Are you in the U.S.? Or do you know somebody in the U.S. you want this to go? Or we can redraw. You tell me. And be sure you let me know if it's going to be red or uh, white. All winners. <laughs> yeah, Kenneth, are you in the U.S.A.? Oh, he's in the same. I'll give it to Lane for Toys for Thoughts. Okay. Oh, thank you, Kenneth. Awesome. Well, we got two rolls being donated to Toys for Talk Fund for uh, Slim. Cool. 
More printing. <laughs> okay, that was three, right? Uh, that was three, correct. Okay, we'll come back to the last two. Guys, we'll guys just so you know, the type the type of tie, toys that I'm printing are trains and stuff like this for, for kids, for, for the poor. Liam, go over into the files on StreamYard, show the pictures I saved. I think I didn't. I, I think I saved your pictures. I don't know if I have access to those, right? Yeah, oh, I do. Yeah, you have access like I do. Okay, so I think it's on each one pull from the screen. Like, that's oh, that's not, not it. That's not it's, yours. That's yours as well. They're, they're, I, I, let me find them one second. They should be there. They're not there. Okay, let me look. Yeah, I don't see them. I must have went through and got rid of them all today. Yeah, I call Liam. I call him Mike quite a bit, if you guys don't know, and here's why. I, <laughs> I, can't, I know everything. That's and Jerry's version of me. Yeah. <laughs> he called me funny. So, no, I don't care. You, as long as you don't call me too early in the morning, and that's before 5 a.m., I'm okay. <laughs> here, I've got his stuff right here. Let me find him on my hard drive. Okay, here they are, starting right here. Let me hit share screen. Go ahead and explain it. Okay, and that's two of my, like, I have some IDEX printers. I have three IDEX printers right now. And that's two. The one on the left is the uh, 10 log D3 Pro. And the one on the right was the JG Maker Artist D. That's the 10 log there. And it's doing using the IDEX. It can allow me to print two of them, two models at the same time at the speed of printing one. So um, that allows me to print machine. And like it takes two spools of fluid, but it allows me to print faster. And so I can print more at, at the same time. So these are, you saw the train sets. These are little um, chameleons that are part of the models that we, that we print. If you go on, Jerry. Uh, these are other. These are little penguins and um, uh, little bee models. There's a, a box full of trains that I showed you, like similar to the ones I showed you on screen a moment ago. Um, go on, Jerry. I think that is that all. Uh, there's another train, an all white, but I on a different printer. But yeah, it, it, it's a lot of fun. I, uh, I have those trains. I have a little smaller toy. I have little small cars. Do you have the images of cars there, Jerry? I think you do. There. That's that's printing some jeeps. Um, again, on, that's on the JG Maker Artist D printer. So um, jeeps after coming off the printer, waiting to be yeah. doing a bit of cleanup before part of the assembly line. <laughs> so so today I've printed eight over eight hundred um, models. Uh, and there, so it's fun. It's it's a fun project, you know. Um, I have, I've done over 800. My goal, my purpose is trying to reach around 3,000 before the end of November because I need to turn them in at the end of November. I think the Flexi Dolphins on, is on um, Thingiverse, I think it is. Yeah, my dog, one of them is barking, wanting more food, more treats. Put email. I already. I um. Then Jerry's email is in the description already. Yeah, J E Map One at Yahoo.com, and it's also in the description. And uh... um, the the my my IDEX printers. I have um three of them. I have the JG Maker Artist D. I have the Ten Lug D3 Pro, and I have the Weedo X40. And I'm waiting on the uh, Maker Pi P3 Pro. I like IDEX machines. I have a lot of other machines too, but I'm a, I'm a fan of IDEX. Especially when you're doing stuff like this, IDEX makes life easy because you can print more higher and more quantity at a, a at half the speed that you would normally do with a single extruder so it, it helps we're getting near the top of his head jerry i think, I think that popped up okay right 
Say that again. Can I type that okay? I'm typing in. Uh, yeah, that's right. Yep. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. So email Jerry. Now there are still two more spools to come later on. At the end of our stream, we'll draw for two more spools. Thanks to Dora and Focus for donating yeah. the spools. Thank you very much, Focus. That's awesome, Abby. Thank you, Dora. Just let me know. <laughs> winners, just let me know what color you want, and I uh, give me your name, your address. Of course, I'll have your email if you email me, and I need your phone number also, please. I'm not going to call you. It's just for the company needs it. If there's something should go wrong in shipping, the shipper can contact you. Yeah. Actually, no, they're not mirrored. I was in duplicate mode. You no, know, you can print different ones with different hot ends. It's duplicate mode or mirror mode, or you have dual color or dual material. But they yeah, have I've instantly. never reviewed or bought or tested an IDEX. I would love to. I don't never had one. I've been in the hobby all this time, and I've never done anything IDEX. Uh, yeah, I've I have uh, said so I have three of them. I have a fourth one on the way. Um, the I like IDEX. Uh, I've convinced other customer other companies to go from normal dual extruders to IDEX, and when they test it out themselves. Um, within their engineers, they were they preferred the output and the quality of IDEX over a normal dual extruder. And there's less wastage with an IDEX because you don't have any purge towers with a like in a normal dual extruder. You have purging. You have no purge towers with IDEX. You don't need it. And if um, you drop, if you just dropped into the stream, one thing that's really really cool about this printer is that you take out four bolts, you can fold it down, you can put it in your luggage, your suitcase. Your backpack, whatever, and you can take it to grandma's house, take it to Disneyland on vacation, print in your hotel, make all some cool prints for the people next door or down at the reception desk. I mean, it, it can go anywhere very quick. I currently don't have any issues with it. I, I will print more and do more videos. We'll see how things come out. I'm going to print their film with their red and their white, make multiple things, see how it goes, and I'll do other videos and post on social media, my group, my page, Twitter. Then I'm also at 3dhp.net, but I haven't worked on that website in a long time. It looks kind of cheesy. I'm not very good at working with uh, different software to design the websites. I need to work on it, but that's 3dhp.net. I, I know Maker Viking said a long time ago that he would help me out with it, and I've never given him my passwords and stuff to get in, And or if he still wants to do it, I don't know. But I do need help making the, the site look more professional and mainstream. Yeah. And um, uh, Daniel, uh, 3D Maker Hub. Uh, I do not. I've never used that printer, so I don't know. But I've had great success with, with the ones I have. And uh, let's see, smash a hole in the wall and watch. This. And please share out the stream, yeah. everybody. I would love. And please subscribe. I'd love to get more subscribers. If I ever get to ten thousand subs, I'll have another monstrous giveaway like I did at twenty five hundred. I don't think I'll ever reach it. I mean, I'm fifty seven. I'll probably live to be a hundred. I mean, I might someday reach that many, but you know. I don't know. I try to make great content. If, you, if anybody has any opinions on what I'm doing or what I'm doing wrong on my videos, let me know and I'll try to improve them. So. Cool. Yeah, so like, subscribe, ding that bell if you haven't done it already, guys. Um, uh, there, as Jerry does, as he said, he does a lot of content and he also does hangouts every Saturday afternoon in at um, 1 p.m. Pacific, uh, 4 p.m. U.S. Eastern Times. And that and that's for open to all makers to come in, hang out. You hang out with myself and Jerry. Tripod is always in there. Um, there's a whole pile of us are often in there, and everyone's welcome to come in and join the conversation that are on chat. Or there we go. I had the wrong screen. camera button up. Why didn't somebody tell me where are you at, Jerry? Don't see you no more. There we go. I know we, uh, we talked. You were concentrating on the on the print, so, so I didn't say anything. No, no, I did it. I streamed back. I'm not that good with screen decks. I know you can do anything with them if you figured out a program. So yeah. I go on YouTube like everybody else. I watch the videos and try to figure out how to do this and do that. And I'm running OBS in the background. Oh, also, guys, for the first time ever, StreamYard. I pay 25 bucks a month for 720p. I'm supposed to be in 1080p right now. You get a free trial for seven days. So I figured what a perfect time to try out 1080p, reviewing this awesome printer by Focus. My live stream Saturday will also be in 1080p. And then for next week, it'll revert back. And quite often, I have different makers on. I've had Joe Telling, Chris Riley, tons of different makers, big and small, that have came on weekly where we do a one-on-one. -on -one. They tell me about their background. Andrew S. has been on. Um, they'll tell me other things that you don't see on their videos. Or they've never, if they don't have a channel, 
come one on one. They show me their prints, tell me a little bit about themselves. People ask questions. I used to do that every week constantly, but sometimes you message so many people and you're hearing all these no's or I'm busy or they don't get back to you. I just started sticking with my hangouts. I got so many different projects going on all the time. I need to get back and start having more guests on. Then Liam used to do have a lot of companies on and yep. he hasn't in a lot of, long time, but I'm sure he'll start back up at some point. I will. I'm actually, um, my, excuse me, my, um, I use StreamYard, but I was I also have another service that I use. But the, the other service, which is um, really good, the only thing is they haven't added the functionality to bring in guests yet, which I'm trying to convince them to, to add that functionality to their system. So, yeah, Tripod said he's, you're going to get that model and you're going to put it on your carrying and carry it with you everywhere. <laughs> yeah, I left it there just because I was going to call it out because, because you were talking. And yeah, everybody... everybody Jerry does Everybody wrong. in chat, if we don't post your comment, we try to acknowledge you. Um, you know, like Joe telling, he'll have like 700 to 1,200 people in chat, and it'd be very hard to post everybody's comment or say hi to every single person. I'm very small, so I always try to you know, do a shout out to everybody. And if I don't make a comment, tag me so it'll pop highlight, and I'll be sure to say something to you. Yeah, um, I didn't. Was it Shane that did? Um an IDEX conversion of an inner three. Or was it, was it Shane? No, it was Zach. Um, what's his last name? The guy with the, with the beard. Grigby or something? Yeah. He did a, an inner three conversion to IDEX. Where you basically stretch out the X-axis and so you have the head, room for the heads to move out of the way. Awesome. Yeah. Chaps are moving rock in there. Check them out. Yeah. Fix them, dude. Yeah, yeah I do he, my best, man. I always try to do my best. To post, help people on my group online share stuff. I used to post a lot more stuff in multiple groups. Everything I'd print, I would print it when I before good. I painted it. And most stuff I haven't painted, but I was always posting everywhere. It takes a really long time, as most of you know, getting on your computer, seeing all your comments and chats and posting. Very time consuming. But I try mm -hmm. to keep uh, video content coming out as much as possible. The more stuff that companies send me to review, that it's things I like, I don't review anything. I try to review things that I'm personally interested in. And I would love to print some uh, DIY laser from like Otur or somebody, but they I've talked to Otur. They don't want to send me one. They don't need no more reviewers. And Congro just came out with one. I know that Focus has one. They're going to be coming out with. I would love yep. to review them, do content, make some stuff for people, for presidents, for Etsy. I got a million places things could go. And I, I always try to help people the best that I can. And yep. I'm a smart ass at times. I'm uh, just kind of my nature. I've got a wig up here. I'm not going to put on right now. I can't reach it. But sometimes I put on my wig and pretend I'm Jim from Edge Tech, you know. But uh, <laughs> I'm kind of gray and black. And, you know, I kind of, I'm kind of, I don't act my age, put it that way. I don't always act like I'm 57. Just your shoe size, Jerry. Just your shoe yeah, size. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah but, it, you know, but it's like varying the content is, a, is, is important, is good, right? And then we all try and do it. Like, uh, like we don't, if we only start with 3D printing, We'd run out of content to talk about quickly, yeah. right? Because there's those limitations. But we all, every, we're not just into 3D printing. We're makers. Like I've done lots of stuff on lasers, as you know, right? I, and I've um, I've done reviews of laser of lasers and stuff. Uh, I've done CNC. I'm actually starting to get into some metal casting as well. I'm, as my my next goal is to get into a little bit of metal casting. So 3D printing to make the sand cast and um, the models for the sand cast and then pour it in aluminum, melt down like soda cans. And turn them into a, uh, an aluminum. Um, awesome. Or sorry, for the European yeah, for, aluminium. For November is coming. Out. Out. They're coming out their laser engraver in November. Awesome. Yeah, and it looks like a night machine. It's a four hundred by four hundred area, so it looks like oh, a night wow. machine. Yeah, so it's, it'd be the equivalent of in physical size of the um, the one that Congro working on, and it'd be same sim, uh, same physical size as the um, the Artur. Yeah. The laser master two, so they'll be all around the same physical diameter of burn area, and that uh, they're all five, uh, five and a half watt output lasers. It's doing his hair right now. If he has any, it looks like hair. He does. It's getting there. We're getting so, close, everybody. Yeah, but, that you know, no matter what, I hope you enjoyed the stream. If there's something you want to see or some content you'd like to see, you can email me. Leave a comment down below. You can PM me over on Facebook if there's something you'd like to see, or if I said something wrong, let me know. You know, 
Uh, uh, by the way, Jerry said, want... ping it over to me on Facebook, not P it over to me on Facebook. P PM. <laughs> yeah, a lot of words in my videos. I'm missing a lot of teeth. I need to resin print some teeth, but I don't know how. But yeah, I mispronounce a lot of words. I, I, I'm not going to apologize for that. No, no, no. Too many people apologize for too many things nowadays. You know, just people need to get over it. So, you know. Yeah, and see, if Lightspeed was on here, he'd translate what I just said, too. Yeah. <laughs> but he's not on right now. But yeah, so it's so we're almost there with the print. Yeah, um, yeah, and we still have thirty six people hanging out, which is fantastic. Awesome. Yeah, cool. Uh, let's see. Uh, Kieran says aging is compulsory, but maturing is not, and that is very true. Uh, click up top on your screen. Let me know who's where. We have thirty six on YouTube. And I think everybody's on you. Everybody's on on um, your Treaty HP YouTube channel currently. All right. Yeah, because. They didn't. They, uh, people, some people who joined with the fa with Facebook earlier on, they did not have them um, click on the give permissions. Okay. So they were showing up as Facebook well, users. So show we up on it. Facebook, and a lot of people that possibly commented on Facebook. I'm not on Facebook right now, so I can't see your comment. And people are going to watch this after the fact, thinking that we're live, and they're going to comment tomorrow, or the next day. I'll go back and like it, but that doesn't. We, I didn't see your comment right now. So. Yeah. So uh, yeah. So we're all we're excited like. We, we can only imagine that with the with this printer the way it is right now. I can imagine that the laser is going to be similar. It, it, like you 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 you, put, you stick it together and it hit go and it works right. So we're assuming it's going to be the same way. Yeah, whenever I can say whenever something goes wrong yeah. with a three D printer, most of the time it's operator error. It's not filament. It's your first layer or something that you've done. So usually problems can be resolved fairly easily before you automatically say, "Oh, I got to return this or I got to send back the filament." You know, get on Facebook, PM somebody, ask on Twitter. Usually your problems can be resolved. And as far as comments go on Facebook, out of 100 comments, you're going to have 70 people kind of throw wild things at you. And a lot of them are right, a lot of them are wrong. You know, people just like talking. So, Well, you know the way it is. If you ask one question, you're going to um, on a, you're going to get, a, and there's 70 people in the group, yeah, you're going to get 140 answers. different answers, right? Yeah. I mean, <laughs> I, I'm no expert at what I do. Liam is not an expert. We know a lot about what we do because that's yeah. what we do. You know, like people in chat, they know a lot about what they do. They do it all the time. And okay. They might know Just saying, Andrew said he messaged you already. Okay. Is it so, something I need to read right now, Andrew, or do I need to read, read it whenever? No, it's your contact. It's these contact information so you can ship the all film right. to them. Yeah, Andrew's a mod over on my uh, Facebook group, 3D Printing and Painting also. Yeah. So, like, so we all we all share, get, get involved in different stuff. And it's fun because being a maker is not just about doing one thing. It's about doing various different things like CNC, like lasers, like, because that's part of what we do. Right? We, we Yes, tripod, they will. Everybody will say, did you level your bed? Oh, oh yeah, yeah. That's, that's always the first thing yeah, they always ask. And actually, to be honest... With a lot of new, new, new people to 3D printing, that is 80% of the problem. You know, if you're having trouble with the first layer sticking, and it, some of it does, some of it don't, there's a lot of things out there that work great, like nanopolymer. But the one thing that has always worked for everybody, glue stick. Glue yep. stick always works. Glue stick, regular glue stick can save you many times where you just need a little extra help on the bed. But nanopolymer works good, but the big bottles are 50 bucks. Goes a long ways, will last a very long time. But glue stick is your saving grace most of the time. If something ain't quite just right, like I, I'm, I'm doing the the, the, the trains. I, I use a, the smooth side of the glass. I put glue stick down. I print on it. I spray it with a butter. When it's done, I, I take off the parts. I spray it with a drop of water just to re to re, to refresh the glue, not, not put on new glue. And then and then heat the bed. And when the bed heats up, it dries it and hit print again. And I just do that over and over and over and over and over again. I just reuse it. Done. And like I say, the only reason I've done this particular file it wouldn't take as long as a bench sheet. So I'm trying to find something fairly fast and quick that we can do on live stream. And typically live streams, I don't build printers on live stream. This is my second one I've ever done. The proof so many that I bought that kit, like I've told people before, was two different live streams. And I had other people running chat for me and I was talking and I was building and it's like 200 parts. It was literally in pieces. Yeah. But it, it was, was fun. Kid. And I knew that when I ordered it, and I waited a really long time to get it, and I saved fifty bucks doing it. It was well worth, like Kieran said, it's well worth, well spent fifty dollars that you saved to do it live because people got to see how it goes together in pieces. Yeah, I, I, I can't remember. 
I can't remember how many uh, live unboxings I've done. <laughs> yeah. I've done too many. But they're oh, fun. I like the live interaction. That's for, for me, that's a big yeah. thing for me. And then there's I like nothing to add. A live stream, there's nothing to add. You do it, and you post it, and you're done. But it's not that at all. I like to be able to answer the questions real time. I like to be able to give res respond to people real time. That's that. Uh, a lot of people will, will ask may not ask questions after the fact, right? Um, but in a live stream, they'll, they, and they get to know you, and you, you're on there a lot with them. They just keep asking questions, and you can respond to them immediately, so they get immediate answers. That's why I like the the live interaction. So. That's why I do a lot of li most of mine are live streams because that to me I like dealing with people in that way. Hey Betty Boot Forty Five, are you still here or did you are you watching TV now? She probably left and was watching TV. Yeah, she hasn't she hasn't spoken in a while, so she might be little yeah. watching it Your on. Doctor uh, Pepper Zero is almost done, Betty Betty. So it's almost done, Jerry. Yes, sir, Bob. It's not going to put a little, the little uh, as uh, Tripod was saying earlier on, it's not going to print a little loop so you can put it on your keyring. <laughs> Are you going to paint it now that you printed it? This? No. It'll stay like white like this. Then eventually I'll throw it away <laughs> for the sake of the videos while I'm printing it. But whenever you paint any anything that you print or resin print, you must prime them. Sometimes yeah. things print perfect or in resin, uh, a lot of prints like this, you may have a couple widths to take off. You don't always have to sign prints. If they look good, prime them, let it cure overnight, and then start painting them. But Sometimes I just prime stuff. stuff. Huh? Sometimes I just prime stuff like this. Yeah, yeah, just prime it. And yeah. you can use rub and buff. You know, you can prime it. You can paint it black, like a high gloss black, and then get rub and buff and put it on. Ooh, it's done. There you go. Ooh. Let's look at it and see what we got here. You know, HC. You don't. You um, as long as you're not getting under extrusion or over extrusion, you'll get and your and your you'll get and the height of your layer will give you a good print. Um, let, cool let, let it go cold, Jerry. Yeah, let it yeah. come down; it'll pop right off. Yeah, or I'll have to use my uh, build tech spatula. This don't have much of an edge on it. Well, you, but if you use a spatula, you'll scratch the the bubble surface. Yeah. Let so it let it down cool down, and you can, it'll pop off by hand. Yeah, I don't, I don't do, I don't paint. Um, I don't uh, like for me, like when I did the the uh, the the the, um, the 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 droid, the robot droid, the RC droid. I painted that because it was spray can, stand back sprayed, and you got a color. Um, but hey, when man. I do when I do models, I don't spray them. I like that that got a top coat, and that's about all it got. Vince, you're just in time. We're going to be giving away two rolls of filament here in a minute. We already gave away three. It's from Focus for the USA only, a white or red. And those that enter that are overseas, if they know somebody that's in the U.S. you want to send it to, you're welcome to do that. You email me with that person's name, address, and phone number, their email. That way, uh, you know, like I say, we know where it's going. But it's got to be in the U.S. where it's being shipped to. Yeah. Yeah, shy for Toys or Tots. No, but yeah, that'd be funny. I have a belt printer like like 100,000 of him, right? And kids say, what's this? And throw it away. <laughs> yeah. I don't, know. I don't have a bell printer. If I had a bell printer, it would be used for this project. This is this would be the ultimate use for a bell printer for me. But um, it's all right. I got lots of other printers that I keep busy. No, don't you... Don't. I got it. Okay. Bill tax spatula. They're 20 bucks or so, but paper thin edge. And it's different than a margin trowel if you work in construction in the garage. I measured them. This has a much thinner edge than a margin trowel. It will get underneath anything. Okay, close up cam. Not Drum roll. <laughs> I'll bring it over there and show you guys. Let's see what we got here. Oh, yeah, that's good. There's, uh, there's no shit layer lines really visible. Is that a, is it, wait now, what's that on, his neck, on the neck? Is that a color change? Maybe there's a different color left over in the, in the nozzle. Oh, well, the cutting event is so high up. It does look like just an imperfection, like uh, something in the filament. 
Yeah, it could have been in the film, and there could have been stuff left over in the nozzle that just came out when it was printed. That's how hot it Well, no, it was no. It could have been like um some burnt material on the outside that came off. Okay, that's possible. Yeah. It's all printers are supposed to be tested before they're shipped. Yeah. I don't see anything wrong with it. No, the print looks good. Bit too, yeah, there you go. Much clearer. Yeah, it looks really clean. Uh, if you're wondering why this fingernail looks funny, I slammed at the door of a truck years ago and I ripped off the tip of my finger and they had to sew the skin back on the nail for it funny and one finger. It hurt like hell. <laughs> I can imagine. I had a big jacked up four wheel drive and I jumped out of the passenger door. Now as I was going down to the ground, I slammed the door, which had no gap, and it pinched off in my fingertips. So guys, remember this machine is uh, is a va is going to be on sale tomorrow. Right now it's seventy seventy um, dollars off, but tomorrow in the U.S. from six a.m. to six p.m. Pacific time, right? It's going to be available on sale at two hundred. You can see it across the bottom of the screen. Currently three fifty nine ninety nine. Hey, depending on part of the country, if you're in, well, it's not late enough yet, but after a bit. Right now, it's three fifty nine ninety nine. If you check the box, you get it for seventy bucks off. Tomorrow, they're going to drop down to two nineteen ninety nine. There's a limited supply. I don't know how many that is, but that's a great deal. And I assume that multiple countries will probably have multiple sales. All I know is about what's happening in the U.S. So you have to check your region for what's going on. But yeah, that's cool. Take out four bolts, fold it down, throw it in a suitcase. The box it came in, take it to grandma's house, take it to Disneyland, print it in your motel room. Jerry, so, you're off camera. There you go. <laughs> you come back over, we'll do another drawing. Yes, yes. So we're going to have a different word this time. We're going to be drawing for two more spools of filament for the U.S. only. And if you're in the U.S. or if you're not in the U.S., but you want to give it to somebody in the U.S., you can enter your name. Or if you have someone you want to send it to in the U.S., we'll ship it to you. That's also fine, too. But it has to be delivered to somebody in the U.S., okay? That's not a bad idea, actually, Andrew. So Jerry's just getting the word, the, the, the keyword set up for the, the drawing. So we have two more spools of filament, uh, courtesy of Focus. And um, remember, their, their big uh, sale is tomorrow for one day, for 12 hours Pacific time. Uh, and you can get it for, uh, for a fraction of what it is, a lot less than what it is today. Right, so but right now you can buy it today with seventy bucks off, but tomorrow you can buy it for for two hundred and twelve dollars and ninety nine cents, or two nineteen. Sorry, not two twelve, two nineteen ninety nine. So two hundred twenty bucks tomorrow. Okay, in chat here comes a word. No spaces, all capital letters. Okay, everyone ready? Focus one, F O K O O S one. All one word, all caps. USA only. And if it's not the US and you win, you have to know who you're giving it to in the US. I'll need your name, address, and phone number where it's being shipped to. If you win and don't want it, we can redraw. Let me know. Focus yeah. one. And all to remember, guys. The, um, if you join the the, um, the focus user group as well, the official user group, because they often do sales and promotional pricing and so on in there, so it will be in the group as well. Oh, yeah, let me share that screen. I've got to do that. Yeah, there's the screen, uh, the screen being shared. Currently, 26 entries. We've got two more rolls to give away, either red or white. When you email me, let me know what color, red or white. All yep. capital spaces, yes. We have 26 entries, guys, and there's 39 people watching. And so come on, everyone focus. get your name in. It's not focus, it's focus. Like focus. the US and America say focus, like the focus of camera, that's how you pronounce Like it. the Ford Focus, yeah. Yeah. 26 entries, two more rolls to give away. I think it's been a great live stream. It turned out great. 
Yeah, it was really, really good. A lot of questions. It was great having Dora on to answer some of the, this yeah, answer. Some stuff. No problem. Out of the box whatsoever. Change the print line. I'll be doing future upcoming videos on it. Starting tomorrow, I'm going to get my room back in order here with all the lights and cords and cameras. And then I'll get it set up and start doing prints on it. And then I'll be posting on social media and I'll work on doing another video, a couple more videos on it. So. And also keep an eye out because um, later on this year in November, yeah, the Texas folks are releasing a laser. My, my relatives, my wife's relatives live down in Texas. You know what? Dallas was playing on Brady today, the first football game tonight. My wife's like, are you sure you want to live stream then? The football starting. But yeah, I missed the game. So hopefully I can rewatch it. Tom Brady is going up against Dallas. I forget who Brady's with right now. But yeah, I want to see that game. And don't tell me who won in chat. Come on, I want to watch it. But my wife will probably tell me. I usually she watches Miss America those shows and occasionally I tell her who wins. She's watching. So, oh yeah, by the way, <laughs> I just see on social media what happened. So anyway. All righty, 30 seconds. All right, we have 27 oh, entries 30 and 38 people in chat. So I said if you want to put your name in as long as but you have to skip it if you're not in the US. You have you will have to have it sent to somebody in the U.S. Yeah, yeah. That way, U.S. kind of counts. It's, I mean, Mon fam, a long time ago, he won some coffee on Joe Kelly's stream. He hit me up. Hey, you want that? Yeah, sure. I drink lots of coffee, and he uh, gave me the code, and I got uh, two really cool bags of uh, coffee from Mon fam. It's awesome. Yeah, 20, 29 out of thirty-eight. You got about ten seconds, guys. Get your names in now if you want this. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 3, 2, 1. Here Say one go. again because you missed number four. <laughs> yeah, I know. I did that on Here we go. The first winner. You can't win twice. Yeah, so if you've won already, you cannot re win again. 3D HP. That's Liam. Cool. Did you enter? Thank you, Jerry. Did you enter? I, I did. I did, yes. Okay. Well, you want to keep it or you want to respend? Uh, I've already got spools coming to me. Redo it. Okay, we're drawing again. Liam yeah, people were kind enough. of to make me already. This 3D HP. Liam is locked in, logged in like he's me. That way he can control the screen. That's why it says my name. Yeah. And then I typed it in chat, so then I guess it could have been me also. But I don't count. If it comes up again, then it's Liam. But he has some coming. Tennis. Get it one already. All right, he won already, and he donated it. He, he gave it to me. Here so, we go. Vicious stitches. stitches. Congratulations. Are you in the U.S.? And if not, you have somewhere for it to go. And do you want me to redraw, or are you happy with it? Are you in chat? Yeah, this is stitches. What you want to do? Are you in it? Let's see if he, he hasn't posted yet. Yeah, he's in the U.S. He won. Yeah, he's in the U.S. Awesome. Yeah, um, JDNAP1 and Yahoo.com. Oh, Jerry. What? Read the, read the comment. He said yes, he's in the U.S. No, he said he wants to send it to me for the Toys for Tots. Oh, donate the link. Okay. All right. Let Thank you so much. It'll be awesome. used for toys, guaranteed. Awesome. More of these for kids. Huh. Well, Dora, lots of it's going to Liam for donation for kids' toys for tots. Okay, we're drawing one more time, right? Yep. Here we go. Yeah, the film is twenty five ninety nine a roll, so it's, it's not cheap film. It's uh, definitely worth uh, printing, keeping, and printing some goodies. Tripod. tripod. Do you want to keep it in print with a tripod? Have you ever tried their filament, or do you want to redraw? We know he's in the U.S. Yeah. That's if he's still in chat. Tripod. He's in there. He's there. Okay, so you want Liam to have it then, right? Guys, you're all fantastic. It'll all be used for printing toys for the kids. Thank you so much, guys. Um, 
I'll probably get I, I'll probably get about each spool will probably give me about ten toys, ten of these trains, maybe fifteen of them. Very cool. Uh, Liam wrote that down. I didn't. We'll get everybody's information. So yeah, I have all the info. That's awesome. The print came out good. Like I say, the printer seems to be pretty solid. I don't have any issues with it. Of course, we'll have to print things over time. If I can find the camera here. Print things over time and see how it comes out. But yeah, I have no problem with it. Printed great. Real easy. It's real mobile. Easy to take with you. Just take out four bolts, fold it down and go. So it's got a color screen on it. You can see the print on the screen that you're going to be printing. Yeah, it's very nice. And I've got, like I say, more videos come out on it. They also sent me a roll of the red and the white. So I'll be printing lots of videos with it also. And I will, be not, I will not be sending my film with William. He has plenty now. Yeah. So I'll be printing lots of goodies. So. Yeah, uh, uh, 3D Medic, I'm actually in Michigan. Can't you tell by my accent? <laughs> yeah, I'm Irish, but I live here in the States. I, I'm in Michigan. Yeah, it's very cool. Like I say, there's an affiliate link down below, or you can go straight over to Amazon. Uh, if you like to buy this, try it out. And tomorrow they'll have a huge sale on it. And plus, you go join their Facebook group and post the printer. Uh, you know, very cool. Yeah. So, and if I may, Jerry, yeah. guys, for those for for donating all of that material, thank you. It will be used for printing toys because um, I have all my printers busy on, on printing toys right now. So that's exactly where it will go. Thank you so much. Yeah, I give it a thumbs up. Yeah, so far so good. It didn't break down. Didn't have any issues with it, and uh, doing very well. Uh, thank you very much, Dora. Thank you, Focus. Really appreciate it. Thank you, everybody, coming and hanging out, liking, subscribing, sharing sharing go over to liam's channel astro printer on youtube on facebook and groups and uh you know join uh really appreciate it so i think it was a great stream went very well and uh i appreciate everybody in chat you got any closing words liam um i'd like to say thank you for door and, and focus for sponsoring this first of all and for all for joining us and being available to help out and answer questions and find her on the user groups because she's phenomenal with the you with the, with the community out there for the for, for the printer She's the advocate for all for the end users, and she'll make stuff happen for you. Do you know? That's what she's she's been doing a really good job of it. So, two thumbs up for Dora. Well, thank you, every thank you very much, everybody, and uh, please like, subscribe, and share. Like I just said, have a great night. And uh, those that won, get a hold of me, and uh, the ones that went to Liam, Liam will give you his information. So, take care. Thank you very much. Appreciate everybody. You're all awesome, and uh, happy printing, everybody. Take care. Have a great night. Bye, guys.